Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special, very spooky episode of Surprise Around Content! Oh. Today we'll be playing a small adventure that I have crafted for our viewing pleasure. And, you know, our playing pleasure. Oh. You know how it is. It's a tabletop game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, for those of you who haven't been here before, uh, this is, uh, this is sort of our, this is sort of our scene. Uh, pretty much every year around Halloween we try to do something, and my god, are we trying to do something! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get right into the meat of it, but before we do, let's, let's introduce ourselves to the nice people and introduce our characters. Yeah, I guess I'll go first. Hi, I'm Will. Uh, you know me, I run Eben Ward and I participate in various other streams here. Uh, I will be playing the character you see up front, Meyer Bella Swampson. She is a uh, kind of monster of the Black Lagoon person, uh, and she's also the maid of the uh, establishment that we'll be at. I'm, I mean, you are a maid, but yeah. <laughs> oh. There's, there's many maids here. Oh, well, lovely. I was concerned I had a lot of work to do. Uh, you do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we Why don't we go from left to right on the title card? Hi, I'm Veggie BLT. Something something. Shit my pants on stream. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Great man. Is that really uh, how you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> I already introduced myself that way once. Why not do it a second time? We'll do it, it a was third bad. time. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've committed to the bit already. <laughs> He had a chance um, to rewrite history. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to do that. Um, I am playing Hugo. Uh, Hugo is a butler and nothing more. Uh, he, everyone's pretty much concerned that he like came with the castle. He's been here fucking forever. And this man does his goddamn job and you're gonna fucking like it. He is the biggest kiss ass anyone has ever met in their life. He is dedicated to his job. He has no hobbies. He exists just basically to be a lapdog. Hmm. God bless. God bless. God bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> you Am I next? Bottles. Yeah, you're next. Hello, uh, I'm Austin, and uh, I, I also do a bunch of stuff on this channel, uh, Valorpunk. Uh, go check it out, but today I will be playing KBT the Chimera. <laughs> I am I am in charge of wrangling all of the little animals around the castle. All of the creatures <laughs> of the night. This is not the voice I thought would be happening. I, this me is not either, the voice me anyone either. thought would be happening. I'm, 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 here for it. I'm definitely taken here for aback it. by this. <laughs> Uh, there's no taking it back, unfortunately. We can only move forward. <laughs> and then Rube. Hi, I'm Rube. I play on various things on this channel. I have a bird. Um, and I will be playing Dario Desmodius, the lordling of this castle. You don't have to clap right now. I'll wait. <laughs> You go claps once. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well done. Oh yeah, you didn't you didn't slice off you didn't cut off a piece of your Hugo voice, Badge. The Hugo voice is going to be very monotone. This man is here to do his job, thank you. He does not speak unless nice. spoken to. Thank you, my lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't know what you're gonna sound like either, Will. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I dig it, man. I dig it. <laughs> uh, all right. And uh, and then there is myself. Hello there. I am Warped Lamp, master of Twisted and master of Halloween festivities, as it were. Uh, I know I said festivities, but we're just going to move on from that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's this hot new thing I'm doing where I ignore my fuck-ups by drawing lots of attention to them. Ooh. It's not pulling from my playbook. <laughs> Yells about shitting <laughs> self. Yeah, I, uh, 
I, I've been wanting to run this game for a hot minute. Admittedly, wasn't fully prepared to run it today, but uh, but God willing, I I figured out a way to do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm super excited to see how this uh, how this all shakes out. Cool. And uh, I suppose the only way to find out how it will shake out is to get right into it. Oh. We open we open our scene here in a dank hall in a dank dimly lit part of this castle you you dario are the son of the lord of this castle and next to you is your sister presumably the daughter of the lord of this castle you've never asked you didn't think it was necessary <laughs> it would be quite a surprise if she wasn't but wouldn't it be dramatic Oh, yes. And Hugo, you are here as well. As the head butler of the castle, it is your duty to make sure that you are on top of things. And my goodness, is there a thing to be on top of? Your your lord has recently been painting a paint has has been going at it on a painting for the past 50 years or so, and he's decided now is a good time to inform you that he has finished the painting and thrown it out a window. Likely he has some other business he'd like to attend to. <laughs> uh, on that note, Hugo has gotten the painting and brought it back to his quarters for and eventually his lord uh, decides that he uh, made a mistake throwing it out the window and will miraculously return it. <laughs> As, I'll, I'll, I'll let you tell me this. Has this happened a lot in the past or are you just banking on this happening? This is... Look... <laughs> You've been al al alive as long as, as both of them have. You come to expect a lot of things. He's just prepared for anything. That's his job, to be prepared for anything. Goodness knows you can't do it with Dario, because unlike his father, Dario dabbles in statue making. So the second those things go out the window, it's over. Yeah, they're fucking <laughs> dusted. That said, they do go out the window. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, so you all, you all have come to the door of your lord as he has requested an audience with you. Uh, the, uh, the, the girl here, Cordelia Desmodius, uh, on your way here, does, uh, does bring up a few key points. Hey, so, Pop Pop's awake, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, just, just wondering here, did any of the outstanding issues from the past week or so get solved? Which of them in particular, madam? Oh, uh, well, uh, I was supposed to deal with the, with the horde of werewolves outside and super slacked on that one, so, you know, drop the ball there. Uh, but like, uh, I don't know, is the guest wing good? Is the, uh, is the staff good? I heard they were doing bad, man. I have done my best to keep the staff as upright as they should be, but as you know, certain things may occasionally be out of my grasp. And That's I'm sorry I delegated the guest ring to someone. <laughs> All right, outsourcing. I dig it. All right, let's just bite this bullet. <laughs> as 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 he follows behind, um, as butlers always do, he is staring fucking bullet holes into the back of her head. He is pissed. <laughs> and she is very casual. <laughs> she is the most casual. Like, Dario at least... It has this air of snobbery. She just lazes around the fucking place. She has no class. No class whatsoever. No class yet infinite confidence that even though she hasn't solved this problem, she could absolutely do it. She just didn't. <laughs> as you uh, as you approach the Lord's door, uh, she stops. All right, so uh, Rochambeau for it or? Hugo just walks up and fucking knocks. <laughs> Killer. Uh, you should you should have legs on your token. You might not. I have legs. I. Oh. Yes, I you have do legs. have legs. Power. <laughs> you go up and knock. Is it a gentle knock? Uh, it is three knocks, perfectly uh, perfectly in beat. Just a a All little right. slow for effect. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
You hear you hear the sounds of like piles of papers and easels being knocked over and the like as uh, as the Lord of the Manor approaches the door, and he only opens it a crack. Does not invite you in. Would never do such a thing. As expected. <laughs> ah, here you go. Yes, and my, my two darling children. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Papa. <laughs> Hugo uh, steps to the side so that, uh, of course, he can uh, speak to his children. Mm. No need to step off too far. I have business for the lot of you. He he comes out and leans on the door. His his shirt extremely unbuttoned, <laughs> very cash. <laughs> Dario is the least cash of the entire family. <laughs> yep. Yep, completely. <laughs> I have some small news for you, Lot. A dear old friend of mine is coming to visit, and I need to make sure that the castle is in tip-top shape for it. There's a lot of strange little critters that go around from time to time. And in the intermittent time from the last him and I spoke, he seems to have gotten a daughter and is slightly concerned for her well-being. So we need to baby-proof things a bit, as it were. Ah, yes, of course, of course, we wouldn't want her... Being hurt in any way, yes, of course. Not at all, though. It would be something of an accomplishment to get hurt in this beautiful castle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Lord Desmodius. Hugo's, Hugo's okay. arm aches from the last incident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord Desmodius looks to you, Hugo. The castle is in a good state, right? It would be remiss if I were uh, to lie to you at this moment. It has been in better shape. It's been but... amazing, Papa! <laughs> <laughs> Staring <laughs> bullets! <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee you, by the time of our guest's arrival, it will be as if the castle had its last stone laid not a week ago. Now that is exactly the kind of thing I like to hear, Hugo. Thank you, my master. Right. Expect them... Mm, sometime this evening. At the word evening, <laughs> Hugo, Hugo, Hugo's ass clenches so hard it could crack a walnut. Yeah, no, Cordelia sweats a little bit too on that. It's like, e evening? <laughs> Today? <laughs> yes, yes of course, Papa. With nothing less than the best in an evening. Yes. They're all clenching their collective asses. You look at a pocket watch, it says 5.59. Yes, this evening. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll have myself presentable by then. In the meantime, hmm, I don't know. Why don't you enjoy a nice day off or something? I'll have, my <laughs> I'll have myself presentable by then. Unbuttons one more button. <laughs> <laughs> it is dull. If the castle is in as nice a state as I hope it is. You should have plenty of time left over. Of course, my master. Of course. <laughs> he just nods. <laughs> Hugo immediately, like, <laughs> fucking dry thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's how this breakdown slightly farther away. <laughs> come he on, is come back. On, come on, come on. It took us, it took like I one second. Hells are there. I think we need more hells for a bunch of a. Ooh. It took one second. He stands straight up. He he straightens his tie. He brushes off his suit. He heads up to the two siblings. I know I can't rely on you. Dario. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Great read, man. I'm going to need your help gathering some key members of staff. This is going to be rather difficult, but I believe that we can achieve this together. And he, he, like, puts a single hand 
on Dario's shoulder. It's shaking a little bit. Like, just, <laughs> just the tiniest amount. Dario no. stands straight. Of course, we have no other option than to succeed together. Failure glad... is not an option, as they say. I am glad you too understand the severity of the situation. Now, uh, in your minds, are there any staff members you think we should uh, procure for this task? Uh, oh, geez, who's still alive? Uh, oh, the swamp thing. I, I pulled her away from a werewolf. I think she's still kicking. And didn't we have someone? Father said something about critters. We need someone to round them up. I thought we had someone for that. Uh, we have some thing for that. <laughs> <laughs> the last so time... Someone some thing, it, it doesn't quite matter. The last time we, as it was said, split the party, there was a massacre that cut half of our staff. So why don't we head towards the swamp to see how, uh, how mucky it is in this wonderful evening. Oh, it's super mucked, my man. <laughs> you, you three head off to the main hall. Uh, as fortune would have it, you do stumble upon the swamp thing and the critter of critters. I am not a Who thing. Goes? I have pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> I this have pronouns. and pronouns. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> you go let out like... What, what do you, Dario, because you obviously have known Hugo for a very long time, you catch on that it is a short sigh, but for him, that is the equivalent of a bomb going off. <laughs> uh, I think I think these are the wrong tokens. These ones don't have legs. Hold on. Oh. Let's oh. fix that. There I am. Legs for everyone. Oh, I'll, re I'll reposition myself. There we are. Internal monologue of if Hugo is having a mental breakdown, which he is, I know he is, I should be having a worse one, but I can't. I must be the lord of the house right now and not have a mental breakdown. He is, though. Cordelia's yeah. sweating it just a little bit, but like playing it <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, you there. We need to commandeer some extra forces. You guys aren't busy, are you? Uh... Not, well, I wouldn't describe myself as not busy, but I'm happy to assist where I can. She stands up very proudly. Uh, awesome. This, Consider yourself enlisted. This creature's back is to everyone. Uh, before turning about, you see, uh, you see only the, the, you see only three hooved legs <laughs> spurting out from the bottom of this tattered cloak. Uh, with one uh, abnormally long chimpanzee's arm uh, reaching out from the bottom, uh, he turns to you with a uh, with the uh, lower half of a rat uh, just in uh, clutched in his hand as he begins speaking. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Yes, Thank wonderful, God. Wonderful, Why wonderful. You... <laughs> what were you two doing anyhow before we arrived? Well, he's been snacking, so I'm cleaning, <laughs> wiping up rat blood <laughs> off the ground. He and he's just like he just puts the the rat in his mouth and just goes <laughs> and like it just squeezes out like a like a uh, Capri like... Sun patch <laughs> and he just tosses it to the side. Hugo uh, gives v Mirabella a very genuinely kind of smile. He then stares bullets <laughs> once again at Kibbity. No, it's fine. I'll get it. It's just, please recycle the rats. <laughs> the body. I watched it birth. So here's the here's the four one one for you all. Uh, gather around, gather around. All right, so I may I may not have let on that I knew as much as I knew. Uh, I didn't really want to talk about it when so close to Pop Pop. God forbid he's paying attention, because his ear his ears are good, man. Like good, good. Yeah. We will just have to assume he isn't and work on the problem. If we fix the problems, there will be nothing to be upset about anyhow. Right. Okay. 
So, problem number one. The situation in the guest wing has absolutely escalated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but how? I, I I thought I did an okay job there. Oh, I'm I'm sure you did, sweetheart. Uh, but as it turns out, the the that nice specter who's been hanging out over there has decided that his the service he was receiving is no longer good enough and is throwing a shit storm. Uh, uh, <clears throat> that's no fault of our own. He's just getting cocky over there. Surely no fault of our own. Surely no fault of our own. Second thing that's not our fault. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed how fucking empty it is in here. I zoom out. Hello. I quite, Hello. I quite like Hello. the acoustics, and I believe our master enjoys the simpler things with the entrances. That uh, that he does. What he doesn't appreciate is all of the staff armying together. At this point. <laughs> Hugo is not responding. He is locked down. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, I think some uh, some shining stranger walked in and got in the heads of a lot of uh, a lot of the zombies that walk around and clean things here. That maybe our uh, maybe our dear old dad's not the greatest, and they think they can win in a revolution. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> what they were doing. The oh, mob thinks it can win the revolution. <laughs> Yeah, no, are, it's it's absurd. <laughs> are there any other pressing issues? I, oh, yeah, the that... reason since I last slept. Is it bad yeah, that no. I gave them blueprints to the castle? They just I thought they wanted to clean more and I just so I That didn't... was very bad of you. That was a bad choice. But it only okay. has half of the secret tunnels. <laughs> God Ooh. forbid we don't even have upgraded blueprints updated. Oh my god. Yeah, no, add that add that to the list of things that needs doing. <laughs> um so yeah, third pressing issue. I may have alluded that the werewolves are still here. Uh point of fact, uh the werewolves are here and stronger than ever. They've started throwing lightning bolts now. Yes. Is, is that still a werewolf? <laughs> Couldn't tell ya! I think so. If it looks like a werewolf and it dies like a werewolf, I think it's a werewolf. But lightning! It um, does mix up the formula pretty significantly, but I, I still think we're good. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, I have a quick question. Uh, yeah, sure. How long, because, you know, obviously we would know what time it is. How long is it, we think, until the guests will be arriving? Oh, it's the, it's the, it's the crack of ass right now. It's, it's okay. early in the morning. Okay, so we oh, okay. still have, like, we have, like, ballpark... Eight hours, eight or nine hours. Yeah, you've got you've got like a you've got like a whole day to figure this okay. out. <laughs> um, Hugo breathes in very slowly, and he lets out an exhale. All right, if we are to tackle these issues, we might be able to tackle more than one at once. Ooh, I would not advise that decision. <laughs> yeah, we should be like the zombies and unionize. If we work together, it'll be better. Whoa, 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 whoa. They already have a union. I we believe... Tried, we tried to break him up, but he objected to it. Join I us. believe if we deal with the union first, <laughs> we may be able to use that to our benefit. So here's here's my here's my spicy hot take for you. Um, yeah, we do want to get them on our side first, but right now, they're not doing anything. Uh, Spectre McDoastface, he's doing stuff. Yeah. This is true. I mean, the, the longer he's left alone, the more of a mess he'll make, and that's gonna take longer to clean. At, the, yeah. at those words, Hugo's already fucking walking. He is already <laughs> at it. Uh, Mr. Hugo, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Which direction should I be moving? Uh... This one. He is already fucking walking. If anyone follows, that's their problem. He expects them to follow. Oh, oh dear. Um. Uh, left or straight down? Uh, left. All right. Well, uh, you have fun with that. Uh, I do still have some outstanding scores to settle. Oh. She pulls out he her whips. guns and heads towards the door. He whips around <laughs> and stares her in place. I do hope you are referring to our third compatriots who you said you would have dealt with last week. 
Look, when you toy around with your food too much, sometimes they recuperate and repopulate and learn to throw lightning. Hardly my fault. <laughs> it's <Hardly>. mine. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful time. Remember, your father would be quite upset if you passed. Oh, I'm gonna have a fucking ball of a time. <laughs> as soon as as soon as he he waits for her to be out of earshot, she's probably he, out of earshot. It's he, hard to gauge, you know. He turns back and says, "We all agree that the situation may be made worse by the time we return. We will deal with that when we come to it." Yeah, of course. I, I think we do need to tackle these one at a time, though, because otherwise it's just gonna be a problem. Oh, absolutely. I agree with you, Mirabella. I believe, though, Meyer. that we may be able to... <laughs> Mirabella, it's a pun. Ma it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she looks down. She, uh, she's Hugo, walking. She's Hugo mopping. looks. Hugo, Hugo looks genuinely a little sad that she forgot a staff member's name and, and, and simply nods and then continues walking and will never forget this moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm newer. It's fine. Don't worry. You're a busy guy. I do believe, though, you were on the right idea. We do not wish to split up. However, I believe we can solve a problem with another problem. Oh. If, if <laughs> we tackle these correctly, if we tackle these wisely, if we take these achievements with tact, we may be able to gather boons which will help us in these future endeavors. So be smart, be patient. And he see he stares at Kebity when he says that. Very smart. And be patient like a hunter. Yes, be careful. We don't want to create more of a mess than we started with. <laughs> and he, he turns on his heels, they snap upon him pointing in the correct direction. And he walks off screen. Fantastic. Uh, Hugo, the head butler, so, so trustworthy. But we do have to hurry a little bit <laughs> with these problems. Oh, he's power walking. <laughs> you elegantly power walk. I will shift ping you. It's a big map. Let me know if that got all you. Uh, yep. I, I have not been pinged. One more time, please. Sure thing. There I am. There you are. I love Austin being an... Um, background ambient <laughs> laughter track. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we actually know the Spectre's name? Wait, how long have they been here? Uh, the, I mean, would Hugo or Hugo uh, or Dario know? You mentioned the Spectre, and as if on cue, the Spectre's name is Wallace, my friends! Oh. Yes, hello, Wallace! <laughs> Hello, hello, hello! Wallace Tindermaze, at your service. Say, have you guys decided to start treating me with some goddamn respect? Well, 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 we've been treating you with respect this whole time. It seems your term, your definition has changed. What, what, what problems are you having, pray tell? Problems? Let me tell you, there's no end to them! First I ask for room service, and I can't even eat the darn stuff. Then I say I want to party, and I'm told I'm being too loud. And then they tell me that I'm not allowed to break down walls to expand my guest bedroom into a singular mega guest bedroom. But, but you could just go through the wall. Fuck you! <laughs> Was that insensitive? I, I just thought. <laughs> go directly to hell, my friend! <laughs> Uh, what, what is his name again? Wallace. His name is Wallace. <laughs> Wallace, if I may remind you, as a uh, <clears throat> recent addition to the spectral realm, there are many boons that come with your new status, which may solve many of these issues. As my co-worker stated previously, you could simply shift between the walls, which, if I may state, is a rather fantastic and uh, quite showman way of switching between rooms. Also, oh, believe you me, I've been making excellent use of that ability. That you are. Thank you so much. We all enjoy your very frequent pop-ups while we are attempting to uh, focus on private time. He has absolutely, <laughs> while shitting before, been popped in by a ghost. <laughs> oh, 
not private time, my friend. Party time. Party time all the time. And now that Wallace is running the show, that's what it's gonna be. Oh, running the show, you That's say. right, running the show. You got a fucking problem with that. We <laughs> step up to each other at the same time. Hugo simply steps back. <laughs> yeah, that's wise. <laughs> I would like to remind you, who is the lord of this house? I, I did not hear that this is Wallace's manor that you are staying in. It may not be Wallace's manor yet, but by God, is this Wallace's wing. <laughs> you, you, you unfortunate onlookers are feeling just like a large well of magical power. Not simply from Wallace, but also from Dario, just getting into this screaming match. Candles start being flittered out just from them yelling at each other. His authority is not going to be questioned in his own castle. God, no, by this spectacular piece of shit. And you, if you think that I'm gonna listen to you just because your daddy owns this castle, think again, my friend. History is written by the one with the bigger army, and I might not have that, but I've got way more swords than you do. He, he poofs, uh, he poofs away, and, uh, and several spectral blades begin weaving around him. And I've been putting them to task, so go on, clean up the mess I've made. I'm sure you'll have a ball of a time with it. You go just starts actually cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> He's picking up swords. He looks over at, at Meyer like, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry. I've, I've already been collecting them. We, we, we need to recycle these. <laughs> Look at that! Your servants already know their place. It's my job? Yes, and sex is under me, not you! Wrong! He vanishes. Um, <laughs> oh, look at my army of sexual swords! They're not even corporeal! So, so you guys notice really quick that Hugo is putting a knife away. He was getting in position to fucking stab him. <laughs> um, so... I don't mean we to do, be rude, but we do, we do still need to pick up these swords. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm still going, Mr. Hugo. Don't worry. Um, thank you. Who invited? Is he a friend? Like, I've been meaning to ask, and I felt like that was rude. He just fucking showed up. <laughs> that's not a guest. That's an invader. <laughs> he has been an issue that I was told would be dealt with previously. I believe it is my own personal fault that this was not attended to by last month, and thus it is our issue to deal with. Father is always open to new and interesting guests. He was a, he was a, oh, oh, I hate him. I hate Wallace. <laughs> no one likes <laughs> Wallace. No one likes Wallace. No one likes Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now that you've uh, now that Wallace is gone and you've all gathered around here for a moment, uh, you see that this door has been haphazardly jammed with a broom handle. That's where that went. <laughs> <laughs> Takes it out. Fantastic. The door can now be opened if that's the sort of thing that interests you. Huh. It was locked on the other side. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll I'll open the door now. I guess. You you push the door open and uh, and you and you recognize this to be the room of one of your superiors. She's currently laying on her bed, not in her maid outfit at the moment. Um, hello. Oh, Hugo marches the fuck in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she she gets up, dusts herself off, approaches you, nods slightly. This will be dealt with in an hour, I take it. And then he I... like motions to the mess. <laughs> she she looks uh, she looks at the mess in uh, in her own space. I believe I'm allowed to do what I want with my own time when I'm off duty, Hugo. Hugo st like steps right up. Well, that I gr I regret to inform you, we are on duty right now. This is a matter of utmost emergency. We have a guest arriving at the castle in a matter of hours, and things have never been more dire. 
she she <sighs> looks at you, clearly wanting to respond. Uh, so Sugar is someone who you're all at least tangentially familiar with. She is basically the second most important member of the cleaning staff under Hugo. And she has a long-standing, deeply inconvenient curse, wherein she can only speak to people if they are asking her a question. Oh. <laughs> Do you understand the severity of the issue we are dealing with here? Perfectly, Hugo. I would have dealt with it sooner, but I was indisposed. This is completely understandable, and I respect your private time. However, I must regret to inform you that we are two of the only staff who are currently within our own wits. You are within your own wits currently, correct? Correct. Fantastic. I wish for you to join us. Uh, I guess this can be warded off, if need be, as we may need some extra. And he kind of like looks at her arms to see how buff she is. She's she's not very buff, but you know she's hella fast. Okay, he, he does punctuate with a <clears throat> muscle and nods. And she, then... Uh, she nods oh, as well. Yep, he turns around and he walks out. Sugar, Sugar steps out, sort of deeply inconvenienced. She, she taps you on the shoulder. He turns back around. Yes, is there a problem? I'm not exactly sure what situation we're dealing with. Uh, currently, we are going to be dealing with our special guest. It's Wallace. Wallace. <laughs> her, her eyes dart over to Dario and she looks back to you. Yes. Uh, I, how, are you aware of Wallace's most recent ongoing issues with his stay? I... Uh, I am not aware of the specifics of the circumstance, though I am aware that he is causing problems. I would planned on dealing with it sooner, but the young master issued me to take a one-month sabbatical because I was getting on his nerves. It is quite all right, and if, is, if anyone is deserving of a rest, it was you, my old friend. And he then, he, he looks a little saddened by the fact that he is essentially taking her off of a month break that she fucking deserved and then turns to where they last saw Wallace. But uh, in our master's words, it appears our guest is being quite a little <clears throat> bitch and must be dealt with. Mirabella covers her mouth. <laughs> Sugar nods. <laughs> he makes an internal note that they don't get paid, right? Um... Yeah, the uh, most of the staff does not see any uh, any compensation at all. Uh, Sugar is mostly here off of the compensation of promises that someone will address her circumstances. Hugo has genuinely been trying to deal with these circumstances as the years have gone on. You know, there's there's no need for coin in this castle, but he does what he can to keep the rest of the staff happy, and mm -hmm. he sort of like notches her problem two tiers higher in his mind. How kind of you. And then just starts fucking walking. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dario has snobbery disease and also vampire disease of just getting too invested in a project and then forgetting things. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And terminal. Uh, Kibiti, we're going this way, just so you know. Wait, what? Which... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, sometimes he gets distracted by light. Sugar eyes him uncomfortably. <laughs> this is quite a tenuous circumstance with the guest coming, so we need all the help we can get. Of course. Uh, I shall do a quick reveal. That's not reveal, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> Darkness. Oh, uh, what? What? Sugar looks at that and her eyes just go flat like ah great. <laughs> is that is that water? No, it is a uh, it is a a soupy magical barrier. Uh, I start trying to eat it. <laughs> it tastes foul, like raspberries. Hugo is really glad that Kimmy did that 
because he was about to do the same. <laughs> Just like, a, but a single finger, like an ice cream dab. Uh, what is this? It appears to like be a special Like looking around for someone to say an explanation. <laughs> Gonna need a shovel uh, for this one. <laughs> I don't believe a shovel will be able to break this. Little snakes start coming out from beneath the cloak on the left, where the left arm would be, and they start, like, like licking the barrier before retreating back into the cloak. Uh, Hugo does try placing a hand through and seeing what happens. Um, your, your hand passes through quite easily, all things considered, for the most part. It does eventually reach, like, a point of no return where you can't just pass through, but... It is, at the very least, a sort of effective barrier. Okay, so it's not like a, a, a point of no return boss wall. It is just a fucking ghost wall. Yeah. Uh, do you think we could go around? I mean, we have some side doors here. Yeah, uh, what, what, do I know what those doors lead to? Yes, uh, I will, uh, I will tell you where, uh, where these doors, uh, where these doors all lead. Let me get the ruler out. Eh, all right. So... Uh, this door down here leads to uh, <coughs> leads to a small alchemy lab where uh, where a woman named Crystal works. Uh, this is a storage closet for rugs. Last you checked, and this is the transitional room to get into the pool. I mean, so alchemy is probably good. We might need a rug. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I. Meyer, I don't believe we will need to wrap the body. He is a ghost. It's not like he will leave much behind. However, that broom may come in handy. <laughs> Ectoplasm oh. and whatnot. Mm, yes, it's always with me, sir. We need to uh, we need to let as many staff as possible know of the upcoming visit, as well as the issues in this wing. And so uh, Hugo heads to this door, knocks three times, and. Uh... And yeah, you hear a, you hear a quick. Oh God, it's all terrible. Yeah, come in, come in, come in. He he takes. It's a, all terrible. Oh. I'm sure it's fine. Step inside. <laughs> he he sees everything spilled on the ground. Takes a step out. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, Hugo, Hugo, you will tell me the situation right now. Just oh. uh, just a few spills. Oh, no, Nothing all the poisoned all. apples, they're going to be ruined. <laughs> <laughs> no, sweetheart, those are my regular apples. Hold on. You see, uh, you see this, uh, you see this woman put on, uh, put on her pair of jet black pitched goggles. Uh, you also see that she is not so much a woman as she is a Gorgon. Ah. Uh, oh, well, I'll still pick this up. Like, <laughs> my rebellion uh, is going to start putting it yeah. away. Hugo, Hugo sort of looks over the railing, kind of, kind of glances across all of the messes. Are you aware of our situation today pertaining to the guest? Yeah, he came in and fucking broke stuff. <laughs> oh no, the <laughs> other guests. There will be more guests, penultimately. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Extreme. Other has invited ge a guest over, a very important guest. We must have the thing sorted out with Wallace dealt with. Crystal slays over you, over you Kibiti. Oh, Kibiti, sweetheart, you can't drink that. It's poison. Hugo does nothing to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> Kibiti's a Roomba. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, get up. <laughs> well. Love Austin playing just a beast. Just <laughs> a beast. Just a beast. We were okay. hoping to drop by to see if you would be able to help us with these situations, but it appears you have something to deal with of your own. If I uh, am assuming correctly, these guests will want a full tour of non-staff quarters, which will likely include this very impressive room. Thank this you. impressive and expensive room. It I is. assume <laughs> Wallace is the reason that there is such a mess in this impressive and expensive room. Yeah, he is. I had a, I had this bright idea to try and make a potion to try and banish him, but uh, I guess he got wind of that. 
We appreciate your hard work. Was there any fruit that came from this project? Uh, there's apples. Yeah, he didn't break all of it. I, yes, there is also Ow. apple. <laughs> no, they're not poisoned. <laughs> 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 Not poisoned. Well, at least we can confirm it now. <laughs> yeah, no, I can, I can take a second crack at making it. You just gotta give me a minute. That, unfortunately, I don't believe we have a minute. So, um. Like hell, you don't. <laughs> Found <laughs> from where it was immediately stands. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo turns to Sugar, and for the first time today, he looks genuinely sad. <laughs> she gives you a quick nod, like, yeah, man, I guess you. There, uh, there's an air of maybe the union was a good idea. <laughs> Mirabella, realizing what Sugar's situation is like, leans over. Is there anything you'd like to say to Wallace? <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> oh, shit, we went right there, huh? You can from sugar. You should! <laughs> I feel like that... I feel like we could have reeled that back a little. <laughs> Kill yourself! <laughs> no, don't, no! They're not poisoned! <laughs> so, do you like my handiwork here? Dreadful. Truly, you are an artist. Wallace, our esteemed guest. Indeed and I am, unappreciated in my time as well. Hugo finally steps up to him, looking for ways around him. Now, Wallace, you did say you believed you you want this castle. You, you, you deserve this castle, don't you? This, truly, this is your castle. By, uh, by all claims, yeah, I think then I've earned what it. what are you doing ruining it? He, he looks at you. If it's my castle and my property, I should do what I want with it. Lord that... knows you guys weren't doing anything of particular interest. My God! Of course, that is very true. However, uh, I should inform you there are some issues with your castle. Yes, there are some issues. For example, he he points uh, he points to Crystal. Like fucking Medusa's trying to make potions to get rid of me. Don't worry, though, I plan on dealing with that one post-haste. Now, I will inform you she is a very important member of staff in the R&D department. This is what keeps this castle safe from outside forces. He responds in stereo. <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> Oh, this is awful. The only thing that's keeping Dario from flipping his fucking lid at this guy is the ounce of respect he has for Hugo. <laughs> because Hugo Kitty. is obviously trying to do something here, but you can feel the magical energy just pouring off of him. Hugo can tell that this is this is a shot in the dark, but damn it, he may as well try. This worked once about 800 years ago. May as well try a layup. I will have you know that the castle is currently under siege by some ravenous beasts who are coming to claim it as their own. Now, what do you think is more dangerous? One simple employee or an entire army of disgusting beasts at the sound who of are currently beasts. <laughs> <laughs> no no not you not you Very, know yes. you know what dullard i think you've made a great point there is a far more pressing issue than the naga over there it's boring stuffy old men like you <gasps> uh oh oh just <laughs> barely above average <laughs> He is, uh, he is going to use an ability. He, he rears his arms back in a highly telegraphed manner. Would, uh, both of you are gonna be in the, in the splash zone of this one. Would you like to do anything? Uh, yes, I would like to... Wait, hold on, let me look through my abilities. Uh, the, the thing to do in this circumstance would be an anytime ability. That's, uh, that's all yes. I'm gonna allow for. Uh, <laughs> I am going to attempt a very dignified... Sidestep. Very well. Oh. Go for go for a dignified sidestep. Cool. Hey, hypothetically, if I haven't touched roll twenty, you would type in slash roll one d twenty. 
cool. That's not what I was going to ask, definitely. Um, <laughs> what I was going to ask was, should that be one word? Uh, there's a there's a space. Okay. Woo you did it! You've done that... it! Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, shit! Uh, since I beat him by five, not only did I dodge the attack, I am a stealth. <laughs> That's right. You are you are no longer detectable to uh, to most uh, mo most mortals or immortals. Uh, Dario, do you have anything you would like to do? Yeah, I do. Um, There's so many bats. Be presentable. <laughs> just assume that Cooper is just KBT making noise. <laughs> I, I'm I'm imagining it's like an electricity thing, like a like a, a in. Uh, an old Frankenstein movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for my part, I want to... I want to go into mist form. Yeah, sure, turn to mist. Oh. Ooh. All right, you have uh, you have tied with him. Uh, unfortunately, due to the circumstances of the attack, I think he gets to get away with what he wants, as you'll find out in a moment. So Uh-oh. He, he rears back, pushes his hands forward, and a massive blast of wind shoots out of his fingers, blowing the mist away. Oh, no. <laughs> I take damage. You don't take damage, but uh, yeah. And uh, he just assumes he got Hugo. Uh, now is the now is the part where we uh, where we do this. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, let's see. Let's. Here. Just, uh, just a d20 for our initiative rolls? Nothing yes, fancy? Yes, just a d20. And I'll put you all First in here. roll of the night. Oh! oh shit, I'm at a different ego bracket than I thought I was. Well, I'll take that into account next roll. Damn. Oh my god. I just run up to Kabidi. No, those are antidotes! <laughs> <laughs> Extremely dangerous. <laughs> Safety from old poison. <laughs> no. Things are happening. Poisons and acid. No, I shouldn't speak up. He, th he thinks poisons and acids are different things, but he doesn't say it, but he thinks it. <laughs> <laughs> these idiots, these buffoons. <laughs> All right. Well. A lot of 16s. A lot of 16s indeed. And by that, um, I mean all the both of them. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's get into it then. Oh. Dario, you're at the top of the pile and you are currently missed. Yeah, I'm fighting I'm currently a genie. Missed. But not forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go out of mist form because I don't want to have to keep paying the stamina and not being able to do things. <laughs> so, uh, really quick, is Sugar in turn order? Oh, she's not. Thank you. Oh. Cool. One. All right. Look at all these great initiatives. Yeah, doing a yeah. doing a good job. So you stop being missed. What do you start doing? All right, so. I should have. I'm doing what I should have done. God, millennia ago. I hate you, Wallace. <laughs> and then this I'm going to, as a move action, as a move action, I'm going to move up to this space and stab this Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing By fancy, just stab just him. Just stab him. I respect it. Yeah, and my blue bar is the ego, right? Yes, that is your ego. And the brackets on my character sheet I was given a while ago are still the same of five ego being. No, no, no it I've, is not. I've yeah, you've changed it to those. Ten. Yeah. All right, so this is like the mid range of just plus one on things. Mm hmm. Mm. All right. Wallace doesn't have in any time that he'll use on you. So yeah. You you stab you stab this Wallace fragment with your blade. Oh, <laughs> that's all he's got. Oh, oh! Yeah, all he's he got is starts, oh. He just starts bleeding to death. He falls over. <laughs> Why would and you dies. do that, combatants? 
<laughs> uh, Crystal, for her part, uh, grabs a bottle or two and slithers over to this big pot Wait, and tosses him in. Wait, that's my move action. I'm stabbing oh. him again. Oh, you, oh, that's right. You can't stab him again. Well, that's what she's going to do. So yeah, stab him again. Oh, you stab him again. <laughs> it's a little better. <laughs> it is a little bit better. Uh, your rapier does, uh, does uh, how much? Six damage. It does six. Oh. Right, right, right. Yeah, so he's been stabbed twice. He's significantly passed O oh, into fuck. <laughs> You oh. don't mess with the lordling of this castle and get away with it, Wallace. Maybe you don't, but I do. <laughs> Says the man with two stab wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get away with it. <laughs> oh my, is that, I'm bleeding? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so Crystal uh, Crystal throws some uh, some potions into her pot and Wallace is like, oh no you don't, you fucking ass. <laughs> oh. And the... And the Wallace fragments uh, fly around and grab grab various potions, tinctures, and ingredients. Good luck getting rid of me without all this garbage! No. And the main Wallace is uh, is going to uh, is going to step up. And what will he do? I wonder. I think he's going to. I think he's just going to shoot a phantasmal blade at you, Dario. All right. Oh man. Oh mm. uh, well, this doesn't cost stamina, so there's no reason not to try this. I I'm sure I can parry spectral blades, right? Of course you can. Oh, that was that roll. <laughs> oh my god. You okay, attempt wait, to parry, but oh god. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Can you, can you? What What are my new um brackets for my? Because I'm with the I did damage two times, so I might ah, be yes. in a bracket where it's plus two. Um, I forgot to <coughs> I forgot to adjust your brackets. I'll admit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wing it. <laughs> wing it. Yeah, wing it for now. I'll fix it later. <laughs> One billion. <laughs> Well, it's seven out of ten good enough to have a plus two instead of a plus one. Uh, probably. That's okay, so better then than that. Put you up to that would put you up to eighteen. So that would tie with them. So yeah, sure, you can you can deflect that. Ooh. Dope. Oh god, was I stupid and grabbed only tracks that don't fucking loop? <laughs> Shame no. on me. Oh, that one loop. It loops eventually, but after a fade. Yeah, that's <laughs> All fine. right. Myrabella! Okay, uh, I guess what I'm gonna do then... Uh, yeah, I guess my best course of action is I'm gonna step here and, um... I can use a move action as just a regular action, right? I presume? Uh, no, it is... Uh, it is, uh... Oh, hold on, what question are you asking me? So, I, I had to move here to do this ability, uh, but uh -huh. since they're lined up, I was gonna do Pressure Pistol, because it does piercing. Ah uh, uh, yes, you can you can use that as a as a normal ability. Yeah, oh, you don't have to use it as your move. You just can. All right, then I will I will do that. Oh, ah, very good. How much does pressure pistol do? <laughs> uh, pressure pistol does three damage, uh, and targets that are hit by two pressure pistol attacks in one round are exposed. And I don't think I can do that this round, but that's all right. You can't, but you gotta you gotta crit. So uh, hey. so I'll, I'm more than happy to say that you Woo! did. So. <laughs> Both, uh, both the Dario frag, or not the Dario fragment, the Wallace fragment and the main Wallace are exposed. Anyone who is, well, one person who is within range to attack these guys who isn't Mirabelle is allowed to do so. <laughs> um, and then I will subtract two hip for two stamina because it costs two, right? Yes. Cool. All right, just double checking. It's been a while since I played this system. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's all Mirabella does. She's very pleased with herself. Well, so so this Wallace is exposed. Sugar will take advantage of that, and she'll use her her what? ability slash and dash. What? <laughs> eh. Oh, average. Yeah, she gets into position <clears throat> and and stabs the quickly fading fragment of Wallace. Cause he took a bunch. Yeah. 
Also for chat, no, Myra Bella does not have a gun. She just can shoot water from her fingertips. She just does like finger guns. That's how she like cleans windows. Yeah. <laughs> if, if she rotates her finger a little bit, does it change to a spray setting? Yeah, no, yeah. If she, if she like, the more she like sideways holds her hand, it becomes more of a spritz. Myra is quickly becoming one of Hugo's favorite staff members. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Hugo, Hugo. Uh, Hu okay, uh, question. What is my movement? Five. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Perfect. Five. He's going in for the backstab. Of course. Oh. Uh, he draws his cruel fate. Uh, and then I guess that's just a d20, right? Yes. So, and then how do I, uh, add, uh... Uh, you would, you would just put a plus with no space and then relevant modifier. Okay, it's plus three because I'm in stealth? Yes. Okay, so so I type out slash roll 1d20 and then no plus space. Three. Plus three. Yes. Easy. Six. Yeah, he, does, he doesn't know you're here. How much does Cruel Fate do? Uh, cruel Fate, hold on, uh, five damage. All right, you, you stab him in the back for five. He does... He does the medic, I've been backstabbed pose, what? and then turns around. <laughs> while, while it is in between his shoulder blades, Hugo leans in and whispers, You are my third least favorite guest we have ever had in this castle. <laughs> Looks like I need to climb the power rankings then. <laughs> now I'll have you know my second least favorite is that one, and my <laughs> first... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, is that all you got? Uh, I can't do anything else, can I? Uh, you moved and you acted, so yeah, all right. Yeah, nope, I'm here. Hey guys, hope you guys can deal with this problem because I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have stamina totals, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice of really <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right, Sugar's turn. Sugar. Ooh, honey, honey, what are you gonna do? Um, Sugar is just going to, it's just going to try and finish off this Wallace fragment. That was dubious. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, and uh, because of her passive cleanup crew, she does bonus damage to enemies that are below half health. So this oh. Wallace fragment is no more. Hey! My, my Arabella uh, looks over to Sugar. That was amazing. Oh, you had a question. How did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of practice. Oh, just claps. QBT. <laughs> what is medium range? Uh, medium range? <laughs> I, I, I sure hope is, I didn't write that. <laughs> what is M range? <laughs> Melee. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is M5 range? That's a gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run over here and maul this fellow with my snakes. Um, yeah, sure, maul him with snakes. Oh, there's no like. Uh, there's no bonus to that. To that. Okay. You just, you just, uh, you just raw dog it. A nine, Bad a time. nine will do it. Oh, you. You easily dust this Wallace fragment who already took a beating from, uh, from fucking Dario. Hey, eating ghosts. <laughs> Bustin makes me feel good. A bunch of reagents fall onto the floor and I assume you just eat them. <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. Right. Dario. All right. We love being Dario. I know <laughs> I have a coral riff that loops. Surely, surely I'm not that stupid. It took me a little while to remember what game that's from. What you, what you gonna do, Dario? Yeah, I think I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to fire a blood bolt at main Wallace. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Nope, guess I don't. All right, yeah, go for it. <laughs> No! Awesome! One, uh, two, we'll, three! <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll be stopping this action here, if you don't mind. Uh-oh. Yeah. 
you you point your finger like time for blood bolts and and the tip of your finger just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> no, my lord, it's like this. <laughs> Snake starts sniffing the air at the scent of blood. Oh, 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 baby, no. <laughs> He's taking too emotional damage from failing so hard. Uh, knife still in Wallace's back. Hugo very politely nods, thanking uh, his fellow staff for dealing with this. <laughs> uh. it's, all his fault. it's all Wallace's fault. You're damn right it is. Time for it to be more Wallace's fault. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, Wallace is going to just, just fuck off. One, two, three, four, five, six. And him and this Wallace fragment are going to stand united to knock over this fucking cauldron. I will uh. use an immediate action. Uh, I'm going to use acid reflex, a three by three in, oh, in front of me. I thought it was further. Never mind. That nope. doesn't happen. Keep you going. You can spew acid at your friends. <laughs> will that help? Shockingly, I don't think it'll help. <laughs> Perfect then. All right, the Wallaces are going to, uh, <gasps> they suck. <laughs> oh no. All right, on three, we'll pull. One, wait. One. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, Wallace looks around, realizing he's suddenly outnumbered. My, look at the time. <laughs> See, he can just, why does he need a wall broken? He can just do, he proved it. <laughs> Maya, I do believe he is once again, as we have stated, a bitch. And one who does not know what he truly wants. Um, Sugar nuts. <laughs> oh, Kabidi. <laughs> uh, I, will... I want, how do I do? I thought you did great, you ate a ghost. <laughs> How do I walk through a wall? Uh, I mean, maybe you can. We actually have never tried that. Ah, I slam myself into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you slam, you slam into the wall, a crystal quickly slurs behind to catch you. All right, no more of that, okay? <laughs> uh, out of sight of everyone, since they're all paying attention to that. Hugo walks to this wall and tries it himself. <laughs> <laughs> Just gently, like, tap, tap, no dice. Yeah. <laughs> Goes back. Uh, Dario's too busy doing the thing where you touch your hand to a hot stove and you're, like, like shaking it <laughs> over and over. God. M Mirabella is just going to start cleaning up the blood finger explosion very quickly yeah. with her mop. Hugo Hugo is coming down to, uh, to do what cleaning he can. Uh... While speak, uh, what, what is the what is her name again? Crystal. Uh, while speaking to Crystal. So, Crystal, you said that you were working on something that could deal with our very special guest. Yes. Ideally, yeah. Hold on. She she slithers and picks up some of the scattered reagents from all of yep. the Wallace clones. Yep. He uh, Hugo is is tidying things up on the table. Uh, He's inspecting this very large cauldron, which they almost tipped over. And, and uh, that, which, by the way, had they done so, absolutely would have annihilated the floor. Yeah. yeah, he looks around for anything stable he can fucking put in front of it, because that is an OSHA violation. I mean, like, it's it's stable. It's just not stable. The spectral intervention. <laughs> <laughs> He is still making a mental note. He is going to vampire-proof this house. Yeah, you open up your notes. Ward, cauldron, against ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no vampire-proof. Like... He doesn't give a shit about the ghost. He wants to make sure that none of his wonderful employers accidentally trip and knock this over, as <laughs> they have been so prone to Walks do in the past. Up turned into mist that can <laughs> knock this over. <laughs> Yeah, Crystal, uh, Crystal tosses the reagents in and starts working on it. It'll, it'll be a hot minute, but, uh, but like, I can, I can get it to you when it's done. Do you have an approximate time frame of when this done may be? Uh, probably, probably, like, one more combat-ish encounter. 
Okay. Fantastic. I love that you are speaking in terms that I can completely understand. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, then. Looking at the clock, we're quarter past downtime RP. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we've, we've got a little bit of time to kill. Yeah. Keep killing time while I fix Dario's passive like I forgot to. <laughs> um, uh, as Hugo is uh, walking around and inspecting the damage done, uh, he is seeing if anything was left behind that might clue us as to other abilities we might be dealing with with Wallace uh, or things that may help us. Any sorts of literally anything left behind that may give us an idea of, oh, he do a sharp attack. Oh, he do a blunt attack, etc., etc., just to be better prepared. Now, were you asking me a question? <laughs> Never mind, Hugo's just fucking looking around. <laughs> Damn, that's some donuts on this table. No, those are, yeah, those are bottles, sir. Doing thing. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was doing the thing that I said I was. He picks up a fucking donut and hands it to Sugar. I can't believe someone put a cork in the donut hole. <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> Like, I know you want to make fun of these potions for being these potions, but you should make fun of them for being normally an asset that's just a white background with 400 potions on it. <laughs> Thank oh, you, Lamp. Yeah, we appreciate you, Lamp. I know that one. Real shit, can you send this to me? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> GM's looking at each other, yo, dog, is that a new rug? <laughs> <laughs> we love nothing more than rugs and chairs. <laughs> Chat, looking for fire. Anyways, so, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Myra Bella likes, um, I wonder if any of these potions could be helpful for us. I mean, um, especially considering Dario's finger exploded. He can, he can only count to nine now. <laughs> Which, by the way. Um, it, it, it is regenerating. Yeah. Vampire shit. But he is eating apples in the way of, to like, you know, the biting instinct. He's yeah. so pissed right now. He's so fucking pissed. Um, Hugo heads over. Um, he knows that he's not in danger for certain reasons of being bitten and having blood drawn. Uh, <laughs> and and does go to inspect the finger, make sure it is regenerating properly. He has deal dealt with these issues before. Bone is returning properly. Skin is... Mm. Yes, okay, this looks fine. Were you hurt, my lord? No, no. Wallace didn't touch a spectral finger to me. Ugh. Fantastic. I believe you will be able to continue to join us on these journeys. After all, you are quite easily the strongest member of this group. He is giving him therapy. He, is, <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 knows, he knows that there is a fragile ego back there and he is mm. pumping it up like a bicycle pump. <laughs> Don't you worry, my ego. His ego meter isn't in the lowest reaches it can go. It yet. can get so much worse. Than yeah, but Hugo worse. wants it to be as high as possible before it tanks. <laughs> um. Yes, yes. Well, I just have to help the little people. We we must get this all figured out for dear Papa. So and we do appreciate. You know that is why your father sent you on this mission with us, because you are the most vital asset in this house. Oh hey Hugo, hey, the makeup's looking good pretty. on you. Thank you. I've <clears throat> I've gotten a bit better at the foundation lately. It's <laughs> <laughs> Taking about 300 years, but what will you do with these shaky hands, am I right? Dude, you're killing it now. Look at you. Oh, oh thank you. I, I still appreciate the tips. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Mirabella has been just cleaning this whole time. I think at this point, I think she just has like a caddy bag, but instead of golf clubs, it's like mops, brooms, <laughs> a hoe, a shovel. Yeah, uh, no, you uh, <laughs> you pressure wash away all of the uh, <laughs> all of the broken glass and spilled potion. <laughs> yeah, that asset's gonna be harder to clean, but I assure you, we picked it up. Or actually, it's eaten probably. <laughs> Yeah, Kibidi ate all of the apples. Oh, the box! <laughs> <laughs> There's nails! <laughs> you, you, you go goes up kind of like to a dog. Spit it out. Oh, come on. He needs the fiber. <laughs> he doesn't need the eye. Actually. <laughs> yeah, you see? Hey, he, he realizes that, wait, that means biting is stronger if there's nails in his teeth. You know what? <laughs> 
If you see any furniture you don't like and you believe the master wouldn't like, please feel free to do some interior redecorating. <laughs> <laughs> I start gnawing on the bookshelf. Sugar has you a must, lot of Sugar has a must, lot of thoughts on you giving Kabidi permission to go carte blanche on the furniture, but keeps Only them to the herself. only the ugly furniture, <laughs> only the things that are outdated and that you think you can eat completely. You may eat one piece of furniture per day. You are at your limit. Snaps. <laughs> Myra Bella just leans over to Sugar. Thoughts? <laughs> Many. <laughs> Care to share? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> she she was like, uh, t pats her hand. If you ever want to say something, you just tug on my 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 uh, dress or just give me a pat, and I'll ask you a she question. Nods. Okay, just making sure you know. Yeah, it's pretty standard standard protocol. Everybody has their own method of of prompting sugar or getting her to prompt you. Mm. Uh, let's see here. I think Dario's preferred method is just saying sugar with a question and inflection. <laughs> oh, Myra Bella's an idiot, and she's been going, hello? Hugo's <laughs> <laughs> still trying Hugo's still trying to figure things out. He is not a people person. <laughs> See, I love I love hello question mark because Sugar does need to answer the question. That's all she can do. And hello is not a real question. I mean, you can go hello, here's what I'm thinking. Cause like every, sometimes you'll like ask a person, how was your day? And then it's a dump. Like it's a lot. <laughs> um, Myra Bella looks over to Crystal. I, I don't mean to like impose or anything. Do you have something that might help us? Obviously the exorcism potion is gonna be great later on, but something that we could, I don't know, put on a shovel to make it, you know, she like hits the table a couple times, work on a ghost. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I think you have better ways of hurting it than swinging your shovel at it, Pumpkin. <laughs> I've got a hoe, I've got a mop. Well, actually, if I put that in holy water. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, okay, hold on. Quite resourceful, quite resourceful. Keep that mop 10 million leagues away from me. Right, <laughs> right. I'm, s s sir. I'm so sorry. I will not go down that path. I will. I don't know. Maybe I'll get like a little cross and wrap it around my finger. And <laughs> no, 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 no. Also bad. Also bad. Right. Yeah, that's I think still you, God. I think you might want to <laughs> keep your holy arm armaments to yourself on this one. Uh, but hell, take a potion for the road. She tosses you the red one. Oh, I love these potion donuts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, what is, what does it do? I don't remember. I don't label these. Great! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hugo, Hugo kind of walks over, leans into her ear. Is it one for hitting with, or is it one for drinking ourselves? Do you remember this at least? Uh, I'll be honest, I was kind of in a fugue when I made that one. I think the only word that came to my mind was helpful. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. You see her shaking oh. it. <laughs> you shake up the helpful potion. Nope, 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 nope. You're not shake. Carbonation does not mix well with magic. Well, if I open it up now, yeah, it'll be a problem, but... <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> Hugo glances over at the, um, at the cauldron. So, is your concoction prepared? No. Oh, uh, it'll get it'll get there when it gets there. Don't you worry about it. Remember, I'll give you a ring. Yeah, remember, sir, we need one more combat. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I thought it was one more combat round. Let's go <laughs> stab some bitches. Sugar nods. You should do that. Hugo's found a new word. <laughs> Hugo likes bitches. <laughs> Don't we all? Yes, bitches. It is quite refreshing to see him let loose a little. <laughs> Sugar nods. <laughs> Every once in a while, as they're walking, because she's like, I don't know if uh, Sugar wants to say anything. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> she's just like gently pushing you, like, walk faster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Um, Hugo's just going to straight up go for the, the um, rug room. Rug room. Yeah, sure. 
Be careful of the rug rats. They might be in there still. We have plenty it's of okay. rats in this house. It's okay. Klaxi Kuspo hasn't put out anything good in years. <laughs> sure. You you open up the room that's supposed to contain rugs. It contains person. Oh, this uh, guy's bumping. Do do I know this person? Kind of. His name is Ludo. You think he works here admittedly you're not the one who signed him on you can't really find any confirmation of anyone signing him on considering how you assume he's mortal he must be being paid to be here right he's not a threat though he is never at any point certainly not why hello there hugo how's it going you can't fucking throw an ad for our clarity voice right now! Why, of course I can, Hugo! <laughs> <laughs> you have to speak to this character! <laughs> There's just a burning anger! He's, Hugo's having the worst day and dreaming of, of a sunset and a beach! Greetings. I do say, man of rags and snakes, please don't break my enchanting chair! <laughs> Hugo looks over and just smiles. Remember what I told you about the furniture. And then turns back to our uh, helmeted friend. Tell me, have you seen a uh, special guest that has been floating through these walls recently? Why, that I have. That's why I put up the barrier to keep him away. Oh, that's well, your doing. <laughs> Indeed it is. I'm a master of magics, as it were. Do you happen to have anything that would help us with our guest problem? He has been rather rowdy, as you have seen. Your, your friend just stepped right through me. <laughs> Please do not touch my things! <laughs> Hello uh, there! Do I need to give you money? <laughs> <laughs> While he's distracted, Hugo is looking at everything! I, he I, is yeah. trying to figure out if this man is a threat. He has not been able to put a beat on him yet! <laughs> No, I haven't been in the rug storage room for quite a while. I don't remember it looking like you this. Go, you go backs up right in front. You may not want to be in here. I do not trust this man. I, For your sake, you may want to stay near the door. Diplomacy is failing. Please control your sentient rag. <laughs> <laughs> not to be a one-trick pony, but I'm cleaning this. This is a disaster. Thank right you it so is. Much. The boxes were like that when we got here. We? Hi, me and Bardis have been staying in here. Bardis is the other guy who usually hangs out with him. You're also not sure what he does here, to be honest. Uh, is this a wall? Uh, is what a or, wall? Uh, uh, this, th this is yeah. a, um, uh, this is a, uh, 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 it's a divider. Okay. Yes, how is your friend doing? Why, well, I'm so glad you asked. He's doing peachy, probably. Probably. Hi, I told him to go clean something for once in his goddamn life. And do you know where he has disappeared to? I think he went off to the pool. That's usually where he goes. Fantastic. Would you be willing to take down that barrier at a moment's notice? We have some guests arriving today. And uh, it would be unbecoming of us to have locked off such um, amazing architecture from those who may wish to view it. Righty-o, of course, of course. I will absolutely remove it for you. Not now, though. Not now. Not until we have dealt with this Oh, I, I can't problem. even remove it right now. <laughs> oh. You can't? <laughs> oh, he probably needs one more combat. No, I just need my mojo going, and I have a hard time doing that without my little buddy. Then oh. why did you separate him from yourself? <laughs> oh, this is great. He cocks Hugo his head. Gets to, Hugo gets to be mad for me. I'm free <laughs> for my emotional baggage. I don't understand. Can't you tell from the living space? We've got like an odd couple thing going on. Don't you ever insult the classics like that again. <laughs> and Hugo just fucking leaves! Uh, well, thank you for your time, Aludo. Uh, just let me, if you don't mind, I'd, I'd love to, to, you know. Please do not spray water in here. The rugs will be ruined. Oh, no, I wasn't going to ruin your blood stains. That would be cruel of me. But I do plan on coming back to, like, organize these boxes a bit more because they're, they're leaking, sir. 
Oh, absolutely. I really hope there's a just rhymes. <laughs> Barnes and I were too scared to check. <laughs> Looks over. <laughs> oh. Well, it is my job to tackle any disgusting mess, no matter how horrifying, so I will do and it. And my God, you're God's bravest soldier for doing it. God bless. Go, go, be free, you beautiful bastard. I've never been called a bastard before. <laughs> As soon as Meyer is out of the room, Hugo closes the door a little too aggressively and turns to Meyer. I apologize for my breaches in professionalism this past day. As you understand, it has been a rather stressful week. That being said, I do ask when you clean his room, you make some things worse. And then he <laughs> sidesteps make and he worse. just heads for the pool. Oh, I've never been. I want... We have too many guests, and I think he is not on our staff role. I do not know that man. I do not who know who invited him, and there is a vi- Yeah, Kibbity left. Where is Kibbity? Where is Kibbity? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Hugo, Hugo is chasing after! <laughs> ah, excellent, uh, excellent work. Simply walking forward, Kibbity. You, <laughs> you walk into this room, and, uh, and you hear screams of bloody murder. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Dear God, save me! <laughs> um, Hugo points out to Dario um, to make a cut to. No. Dario! Tell Mirabella to get out of the guest. His friend is in danger. We could use the help. I'm Meyer Bella. <laughs> Meyer! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was veg, not Hugo. Hugo hasn't learned the fuck word yet. <laughs> uh, I can go. I can go get him. If, if initiative hasn't started yet, I'll go get him. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> go for it. Um, excuse me, Mr. Ludo. Welcome back, you beautiful bastard. Oh my gosh, bastard twice in one day. Uh, no, um, we found your friend. He is in mortal peril. Hmm, that certainly sounds like Bodice. Can, can you help? I would love to. Now? <laughs> How dire is it? Can it wait? Uh, I'll ask. I'm still not entirely sure I want to be on speaking terms with him again yet. Yeah, check for me. Uh, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. <laughs> um, oh, hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. What did you say, Maya? <laughs> uh, well, I, I, need to, I need to check with... Name Butters? I don't actually know. Barnes? <laughs> Excuse me, Barnes. Did that shit heal Flake on saving me? No, he wanted to see if you're like willing to, if you need his help. I need everyone's help! All right, I'll let him know. <laughs> what is even happening? Uh, yeah, so, um, <laughs> there appears to be a writhing mass in your pool. Uh, the head, question mark, of which seems to be situated under Bardis. He is currently being on and off bobbed under the water. All right, uh, Hugo is removing his jacket. <laughs> and he is just diving in. Onto the coat hook. He is removing his pants. He is also <laughs> placing those. I take a handkerchief. I take a handkerchief. Yeah, you're handkerchief. you're you're getting fully undressed. No, no, just the important pieces. A shirt and a tie can be replaced any day. Uh, and he is stepping forward to um, assess the situation a little bit more. You like Obviously. what I did here, Hugo? Wallace. You truly are a master of the arts. Do you mind explaining to me in full detail that would approximately take a single combat round <laughs> what exactly it is you have done? Ah, yes. <coughs> Sorry, it's hard to slip between the ridiculous voices. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah, no, of course. Well, you see, what I've done here is I've thrown a bunch of bullshit in your pool and pissed off your pool cleaner. And you did this. For kicks! Why? Fantastic. Could you tell me about more of your kicks? 
and he Damn like kind God, of, huh? <laughs> he kind of glances through the door to see if Meyer has gotten us help yet. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Aludo. Um, he is requesting. Once again, beautiful, but are you a bastard? Hard to say. Oh, what? Boy, I, boy, well, I was having a good day, but um. Uh, he... I'm sorry. Clearly, I should no longer be a part of this world. Oh, no, no, no. Hold up. Uh, Bar Bardis says he needs everyone's help, so I think that includes you. Huh. It's rare of him to ask for help. This is a big step in his personal growth. It's a big deal. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> She's just holding the door. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Sugar, oh, would you mind helping us in this time of need? I got him. <laughs> Dear God! <laughs> Aluda runs away. <laughs> oh, he might think we're in the wrong room. Mr. Aluda! <laughs> no, that wasn't Maya, the right please. room. Maya, <laughs> no, Maya, back. please. You, Maya. He is completely ignoring wallets, by the way. <laughs> Just entirely to piss him off. It's fine. These two are probably having a stare down. Yeah, yeah Maya, no. are, Maya, are you capable of um, <clears throat> breathing underwater? I assume, but I did not want to fully oh. assume. Well, thank you for double checking. Does a little curtsy. Yes. Would you please rescue our um, more respectable guest of the evening? Of course, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Kabidi, I'm coming for ya! <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate every last one of you! <laughs> no, a little joke, I'm coming. <laughs> uh, Hugo just sighs. He has both of his knives at the ready. Um, and he just kind of smiles at Wallace in the same way that that you, uh, an outback steakhouse worker would <laughs> smile at the guy asking where the sushi is. <laughs> where is it? All right, well, have fun with this mess. I will, I will help Barbo. <laughs> yeah, sure. So uh, I'm going you're to super. Banish him myself. <laughs> I am going to banish him with my own hands if possible. So here's the here's the here's the flavor of the circumstance. So there's a there's a whole mess of tentacles down here, not just the ones that have reached the surface. Right. So, yeah. So you are going to have to give me a roll of some capacity to be able to get to Vardis. Uh, can I roll like a physical exertion or something? Yes, so you may roll exertion. So uh, if that's the case, do I just roll d20 plus four, or do I combine yes. the physique and? Okay, simple enough. Um, can I actually, uh, in this system, is, is there help in this system? Um, there is help, but not for skill checks. Only for okay. clearing status effects. Uh, okay. Let me double check. I don't think it would apply, but I do get a bonus while being underwater for using, I think it's specifically yeah, I, abilities. Yes, this does not, uh, this does not apply to that. <laughs> yep, fair enough. Okay. Um, I also have mobility. Uh, would that work? Yes. Okay. Um. Cool. <laughs> I mean, at least you're Kibidi, you are zero part fish. <laughs> well, yeah, but snakes. Snakes this, can swim. I've the seen snakes it. It's desperately concerning. want to leave the water. <laughs> God. Uh, Mirebell. So, so you're able to you're able to weave through tentacles, and you're you're able to close the distance with Bardus while he is uh, while he's being held against his will under the water, and you catch. Uh, you catch the smallest side glance of whatever this is, and like, you're you've got all manner of predator instincts, you know? Yeah. Yeah, those are all off right now, my man. Oh. <laughs> Just a single glance, of this thing makes you feel dog shit terrified. Okay. That's um. Not good. I'm going to call out to Meyer. I am going to attempt to loosen its grasp on our guest. On the count of three, attempt the rescue. Okay. And then Hugo goes up with a knife, spins it on one finger. One, two, three, and then fucking stabs one of the tentacles. Just stabs the shit out of it. Sure, roll to stab the shit out of it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Rolls in that one. My arm! <laughs> Fuck, I did it wrong. 
Yeah, it's just do a slash. Roll, genius. Uh, the other thing that you can do if you want is while you've got the, um, uh, the chat box highlighted, you can press up on the arrow key and it'll show you previous rolls you've done. And you can just Oh, really cool. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> nice. You stab the shit out of it. You stab it and the tentacle that is here recoils, but the beast itself seems generally unperturbed. All right, it is not receptive to pain. Sugar, Sugar looks at you, Dario, looks at the mask, looks at you. Do you Sugar? have any ideas, Sugar? I'm just wondering why you haven't done anything yet, sir. <laughs> There's water. I was just taking in the situation. <laughs> she cannot respond. She just nods. <laughs> Good. It's, a, it's on purpose that she can't respond. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Um, uh, I guess what I could try to do is uh, I do have the ability cut it close as a move action, make a weapon attack against a target with seemingly lethal intent, but deliberately missing at the last moment, scaring them. So I can try to stupefy and cause fear, so maybe they'll just realize that I'm the alpha predator here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll, that'll show them. Yeah, go for it. Uh, then do I add a bonus because it's a physical? Yes. Okay, so I will, uh, it's probably a plus three then, because it's not, yeah, okay. Uh, so you would get, ah, uh, okay. Oh. So you don't uh, you don't get bonuses to your attacks from Fizz, but you get your bonus from being in water. Oh, uh, okay. So plus two. So it's seventeen. Yeah, it's still it's still plenty good. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's see let's see this thing save against uh, what uh, what save does it have to make? Uh, fear? Stupefied is uh, pass, so passion, and then mm. fear is rationale. All right. <clears throat> let's uh, let's see if it does it. You wow. have managed to scare the beast, if only for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will use that moment of like, listen here, buddy. <laughs> Brings it like inches from its eye and be like, come on, just just a second. And like, oh shit. And hopefully that's enough to let go of uh, Blorbo. And uh, I will just grab uh, hold him. The, hold the phone. Are you going to look at it while you're threatening it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> but I will grab Blurbo and try to get away. Yeah, uh, air bubbles are just spewing from Bardis's helmet. You, you have, you have wriggled him free. Perfect. Out of the pool! Out of the pool! I am trying. I'm trying. Okay, Mr. Blurbo. He is specifically saying that to Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, your head should be above the water, <laughs> Holton! <laughs> Hugo, Hugo, Hugo moves around to... Oh, by the way, Hugo, you didn't receive adequate recompense for stabbing this thing. It's gonna try and hit you. <laughs> oh, okay. Understandable. Oh, that's right. Kind of close to my two. Oh. Alright, so it's going to hit you if you don't do something about it, but trying to beat an 18 is what's on the, uh, what's on the agenda, so... Oh, boy. Uh, hold on. Um... I am going to try... Where the fuck did my dodge go? I'm going to attempt a uh, dignified sidestep. Sure. Um, is probably not going to... Uh, do I get a plus anything to that? Um, no. Okay. Fuck it. You can do it. <laughs> I know awesome. I can. Cool lie. You go, Kibidi, get out of the pool, and then it's like, oh yeah, I, uh, I, I have to, I have to pay it forward, and it slams you for fifteen damage. Oh <laughs> my god! Oh, whoa. We should leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, I put a question mark so sugar, if you want to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think leaving properly deals with the problem. <laughs> I think. Yes, as much as I would love to just leave this here. Maybe our esteemed guest would love to take a dip in the pool. I I'm think we start, should. We I'm should. Start, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm gonna start running forward and like whipping it with my snake, like, <laughs> like in an attempt to like control it. Ah, of course. Roll. I have faith. I want to believe. Oh, oh no. Awesome. You stab it. 
It's gonna try and slam you for 15 damage. <laughs> Would you like to do something? Uh. uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep whipping it. <laughs> awesome, you're slammed for 15 damage. Um, as Hugo lays there, uh, I'm because you're so close, Kibbity, you would be the only person probably to notice. Um, Hugo's skin tone is not the same as his makeup at all. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm colorblind. Uh, <laughs> let's go let's fucking well then go. i guess we'll end that little bit of lore <laughs> sugar sugar rushes in to scoop you two idiots at least temporarily <laughs> thank you sugar i mean my first question is how did wallace manage to do this my second question is how do we manage to undo this bardis your flute <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you i need that desperately I'll, I'll grab it. Well, I see two possible solutions to this predicament. Solution one, Thank we you. come up with some sort of heroic and... So I don't know. We figure a way to kill it. Round two, you dumb cunt! He no! jumps back in with his flute. <laughs> um... No, you don't, don't just... fight it. Also, you need to play the song. It doesn't loop. How do I get back up? No, I turned the I turned the song off. Oh. <laughs> so how important is this silly little man we're saving? That is my second suggestion. We say that this is a fun room and an art installation. So, uh, after Bardis jumped in and said, "Dumb cunt," uh, <laughs> some some bubbles began to emerge, and you can't really hear much beyond bubbles. But the tentacles start to retract. It oh! Seems, it seems to be calming down. <laughs> oh! Uh. Bardis pops back up. Ugh. Thank you for the attempted assist. But as always, music soothes the savage beast, as they say. Oh, uh, yeah, here, come on up. And just grabs him and pulls him up. <laughs> we should be right. good for at least a moment or two. Uh, KBD is doing Fortnite dances. <laughs> Hugo is still Are attempting to get up because the, the, the puppet master pulling the strings on Hugo doesn't know how... Thank you. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Sugar helps you up. <clears throat> uh, it's really unfortunate that, that the stupid specter riled him like that. It's really made my job a lot harder. Yes, your job. Uh, if, if you won't mind me asking, as we have so many staff in this... Uh, Wonderful, wonderful establishment. What is your job exactly? Well, for for a while there, it was uh, it was mostly coasting off of uh, uh, payroll, but I decided to take it upon myself to do some good and actually accomplish something. And uh, well, it seemed that your pool cleaning beast was awfully lonely, so I've been playing music for it. That is fantastic. And what does your friend do? Fuck all. <laughs> That is what I assumed. Well, you know what he does? He nags the shit out of me. Let uh, me tell you something. He I... begins just absolutely dumping about everything he hates about Aludo. <laughs> uh, Hugo, after spending so long with his amazing, wonderful boss, has learned how to tune these out. And he goes slack-jawed, glassy-eyed, and there's just like a little flute playing in his head. <laughs> um, Everybody else is unfortunately subjected to it. Have, have you considered talking to, not yelling, just having a, a real conversation about your concerns? My God, yelling at him, of course. No, 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 not yelling at him. Because I feel like you've tried that and that hasn't worked, right? But this might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. No. Round three! No, 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 wait! <laughs> Hugo has given up at this point and just thought, you know what, this is gonna solve its own. Um, how cracked is the is the floor? How bad does it look? Oh, it's fucked. It's like 15 damage of bludgeoning to the to the tile work. Oh, and I spent so long on this tile. Oh. I I know you did. You don't have any quick patching tools nearby, do you? 
I would have to go back to my workshop. Oh. Once we have finished all of the other problems, I can help you quick patch these. Hopefully either just before our guests arrive or maybe as they are receiving the tour. Uh, Sugar, uh, Sugar lightly taps you on the back, Dario. Yes, Sugar, what is it? Out of curiosity, how did your father manage to get a beast like this to do something as mundane as clean his pool? Well, funny story, Lamp. <laughs> Rube? Uh, oh, you're prompting me. Okay. Yeah, how do you get can, it? Can, so, can Hugo step in here? <laughs> you can come, you can step up for the assist, but Rube, you have to start this Mad Libs. <laughs> So we found him on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> we all look I'm at just, Dario. No, no, I, just gotta, I just gotta think for 0. 0.2 seconds. I gave you the setup. We found him on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> we found him on LinkedIn. Oh. Ooh. Well done. So That's how you hired me. In the day, way back in the day, my father got into an altercation with a warlock, and, well, this beast was under the warlock's care until it wasn't anymore. You see, the master has a fantastic way with words, and when he does not use words, he uses his strength. All things eventually submit to our master. He should have just tried music! I believe he did, actually, now that I think back to it. Lovely harp that man can play. Wow. I believe my father hasn't played the harp in 200 years. He should really pick it back up again. I really do believe he should. There was a moment of hesitation there. <laughs> <laughs> I really, hmm, do I? <laughs> um, but there's, there's got to be a way to, to calm them down, right? I believe we've already done our job. As long as this wonderful bard here continues up his fantastic work, and he pats him on the on the pauldron, there's like a sure. little thing. <laughs> you you ding him. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he gets aggressive. Also, he's like five foot. Oh, good for him. <laughs> good for him. <laughs> Bardlet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bartlett, for sure. <laughs> now, uh, I can continue trying to soothe it with... <coughs> oh, sorry, still drowning. Can <laughs> soothe it with music, of course, but... Someone is going to have to drain the pool at some point, because there's a lot of gack that got in there. Uh, uh do I know... Fuckers. Do I know what, uh, room is to the south here? Uh, that is the... That is a room labeled, uh, pool cleaning supplies. Okay. Um, Hugo is going to, uh, to, I, I remember his name has Bard in it, but I can't remember his full name. It's Bardus. Bardus, if you would continue your good work, we will, uh, search for an at least temporary solution, hopefully a permanent one, but we very much appreciate everything you have done. Sure. Also, and, in future, okay. if this thing goes bananas, don't attack it. You will just get killed. You know what? My mistake Thank you for pointing it out, sir. And then clicks back on his heels and just starts walking. Uh, Bardis, is there anything else you need to help with calming them down? Oh, no. I've got this thoroughly under control. Unless, of course, you're a maestro. I know I have another instrument around here somewhere. Probably in the pool cleaning supplies room. Uh, Hugo, you open up the pool cleaning supplies room. Hello, pool cleaning supp... He stares at whatever the fuck that is. Oh. He just stares. Yeah, what's with all this garbage? <laughs> Hugo, I smell food in there. <laughs> Hugo closes the door. <laughs> Hugo! Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, Hugo's going to investigate why there is so much Kool-Aid on the floor. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, you can, you can assume using basic, uh, wait, hold on, let me, <coughs> let me look at your skill spread. All right, yeah, sure, you don't have to, you don't have to roll for this. You can use your basic reasoning to assume that someone has been butchering a beast of some kind here. 
Uh, can I tell it all what cut? Oh, you know what? Um, I am going to open the door very quickly, uh, lean in, and look at Dario. Dario, uh, I don't believe you'll want to see what's happened in this room. I, your sensibilities might be wavered if you do. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then but looks- it does smell. It you smells, wanna... it smells fantastic, I know, but we know you're stronger than this. We know that you are not a creature of instinct. You are a creature of art. Damn, you have to know him well enough. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I am nothing like my sister who just dallies deep, along deep doing whatever her instincts tell her to do. Yes, of deep course. Deep breaths. Remember. Remember. Poise. Etiquette. Self-control. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Cordelia is shooting werewolves in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he leans past Dario. Um, has he understood a word that's come out of Kibbity's mouth so far? Like, properly? Probably. <laughs> okay. He seems to be able to communicate in K some small Kibbity, capacity. Kibbity, uh, I may need your expertise in here. Though Austin did BRB. I don't oh, know if shit. he's still gone. Hello? <laughs> 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 Maya, um, uh, <laughs> quick, let's bring in Kibbity. <laughs> uh, I'll get him. Uh, sh okay. Sugar, would you like to help? And do you have any thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I think this beast is overqualified for the job the Lord has set out for it. That means it'll be done faster. <laughs> Come on. She looks at the shattered everything. He doesn't continue to comment. Oh, yes, I see. Kibbity gets to have a meal, but I don't... Poise. A meal? <laughs> um, this wheelbarrow is huge! <laughs> 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 Hugo is also having a hard time not, like, glancing over at various instruments that might help him with the day-to-day -day job. Kibbity, uh, do you happen to uh, recognize what... Uh, this may have been when it was part of the world of the living. Well, Austin's still not here, but I'll, yeah. uh, I'll take the executive decision to say that Kibbity eats the meat. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I you mean, thought would go differently. It's what Austin would have wanted. It truly is. Shine on, <laughs> Austin. <laughs> oh, yeah, this shovel is also huge. <laughs> here we go. Steps past. Sees the, the golden-looking thingy. Is that a trumpet? It's a little bugle. He grabs the bugle. <laughs> it is Crunch. now your bugle. Wow. <laughs> he brings the bugle out. <laughs> he uh, he steps next to Dario. Can I get now, a Dario? Pin? Oh, How long yeah, sure, it? buddy. Oh. Uh, you were brought into this room, and don't worry. I I I did the right call. You ate meat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, Dario, I happen to find something in there. I don't know if it belongs to our friend, but I know you've always wanted to try your hand at music like your father. And he, he kind of hands over the bugle to Dario. I mean, not very classy, is it? I was, I was thinking maybe a stringed instrument, but... Um... Everyone has to start somewhere. You need to learn those scales. <laughs> you look at the to... bugle. It's pathetic. It's working class. <laughs> he is, like, Dario is not nearly as good at hiding his expression. He is sneering at this bugle. Hugo slowly he just takes look the... disgust at this bugle. You have I've been trying my hand at humor. Did you enjoy it? Oh! <laughs> Oh, a joke. <laughs> you know the meme of, oh, it was a joke, and Dario <laughs> threw aside a large rock. <laughs> Dario <laughs> threw aside a large bugle. <laughs> Hugo brings the bugle up to, uh, up to... Bardis. Uh, Bardis, thank you. I keep wanting to say Bardic. <laughs> Is uh, this the tool that you said might help uh, Bardis issue? Inspiration. In indeed it is. Thank you. What a wonderful puzzle. 
<laughs> I mean, there was no puzzle. It's just like, if you wanted to do it like a jam duet with me, you could. Thank goodness, and Ludo's good for exactly one thing, and that's enchanting instruments to be able to be played underwater. Wow. Were you... That, actually, that makes me think, you are playing a flute underwater? <laughs> I'm amazed you didn't question it! I, yes! <laughs> I just... You were so good, I just... I didn't even think about it. A master bard has to be able to play for any audience! Oh, wow. Sugar shrugs. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> right, there's not a lot to like work off of that. Goodbye. <laughs> I think there's less to work off of that one. How's it hanging? <laughs> it's hanging fine. Okay. <laughs> Hugo turns back to Bardis. <laughs> Do you need a second partner for this duet? Oh, well, it's kind of a hard job, you know, like you have to play it underwater and you have to be able to play it at one-fourth speed because sound moves four times as fast underwater. If you think you're up to that task, though. He hands the bugle the mirror to Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I can do this and you're looking at a promotion. <gasps> really? Yes. Oh my goodness. Well, I he was already I, planning on a promotion. Meyer has done fantastically today. I I've never really played an instrument before, but I could certainly try. It's fine. There's one customary way to start when you're trying to soothe the savage beast. Round four, shit heel. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the water. Oh God, what do I what do I roll? Well, let's see here. What is most appropriate for playing instruments? Uh, you've been granted a bugle, which isn't the most the most complicated of instruments. Would this be control? <laughs> no, there's nothing supernatural <laughs> about this bugle. Uh, you know what? It'll be grit, because this is weird. <laughs> grit, all right. You need the moxie to be able to play a bugle underwater at one-fourth speed. <laughs> but you've got the moxie. <laughs> I, I guess I just... <laughs> you, uh, you and Bardis play a lovely, uh, a lovely duet of bugle and flute. I guess I'll roll for Bardis too, but you know he's already. Don't drop the ball here, Bardis. Oh, oh. yeah, that was okay. <laughs> it was kind of With spooky. With this Bardis but... bonus, it's fun. Yeah, no, he he should reasonably have a Bardis bonus for suing the savage. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm having a great time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of the all of the tentacles really really start to retract, and you start hearing what almost sounds like a gentle purr go through the water. Absolutely, do not look at it. Still, you still feel horrified at that notion. He's <laughs> <laughs> here. That's all my bell is doing. Bardis pops up. By God, we've done it. Fantastic. I don't, I don't know what I did, but I think I did all right. Uh I, I do have a genuine question that I would like to add. Um, so, as as head of staff, um, do I know, like, how do we communicate with this thing to convince it to clean? Um, so or does it just sort of auto-clean? So, despite it being uh, clearly some sort of uh, eldritch abomination, it does still yeah, have the same basic instinct as a fish. cleaner fish. Oh. So, that's why it's here. It does just clean the pool. It filters it. So, you besides don't... besides the cracks, um, everything is good to go then. Yeah. No, despite everything, it's normal that this thing is here. But yeah, also, I mean, we don't... The warlock summoned it from the plane of water. We to don't have to... The shark tank. We don't have to jump down and clean up all these bottles. It's going to munch on some glass and, you know. Uh, I mean... So through uh, through deductive reasoning, you're you're pretty sure it's upset because of all of the strange foreign substances uh, in it. So you are gonna have to drain the pool to get rid of this, but that's a task for someone a few ranks below your station. Yeah, I don't even uh, know where we would activate. Oh, there's a shiny ring in there. I'm gonna grab that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know uh, where the the drain pump is. Would Hugo know? 
Uh, yeah, you, uh, you know, uh, you know where the pump is, and you know, you know that once you get a hold of some staff, you'll be able to delegate a small team of people to deal with the problem that is pumping the pool. Okay, so it's a future problem, not a now problem. Yes, it's not a now problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hugo nods once to Bardis and nods to the rest of the staff. Where is the young lord? <laughs> Tario! <laughs> you catch him a literal kid with hand and cookie <laughs> jar of the blood that's left over here. Dario? I am simply Dario. cleaning. Dario. I am not mad. I am not disappointed. <laughs> However, I do expect better of you. And he closes the door and turns <laughs> around. <laughs> Did you find him? I'm going to knock down something. my ego by one. Good. I was going to ask you to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they just keep going. And he does. He, he waits to acknowledge. He waits for the door to open. You're gonna have to wait. I think there's a moment beforehand where he's like, Son of a bitch. <laughs> and he opens the door. He didn't put his hand in the cookie jar, though. Thank now, goodness. I must ask. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, do I see blood around the mouth? No, like, you caught him literally, like, hand-reaching towards him. He was about to do it. Dario, I know that was difficult, and I'm very proud of you. It was and... just right there, and we have a duty to clean the castle, and... You will make a fantastic successor to your father, as I've said many times, and I truly believe in my heart. Now, shall we get going? Yes, we have work to do. And Hugo's Stomach gonna rumble. Yeah, but Hugo's gonna doesn't... wait for Tario to pass to make sure he doesn't fucking double back and book it. Like you hear his stomach rumble, but now he's in like I've got to be my little lordling mode. Now I've got eyes on me. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a cute dog. <laughs> Uh, Kibidi, do you have a dog in you? Probably. Ah. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> you got that dog in him. Yes, I believe it was something my sister picked up for some reason or another, and then, well, it was missing a week later. I saw Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> you saw Shiny. Congratulations. You found a ring of immediate force protection. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> Yes. Oh, I didn't realize there were things that we could, like, pick up. I only just Indeed. noticed that. It's like a game or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> what is? What does it do? Uh, once, uh, I forgot to write it down, unfortunately. Uh, but once per combat, as an anytime action, you can project a small barrier of force between you and something immediately in front of you. Oh, I guess we'll put that under weapons? Neat. It's an item, so yeah, put it there. Sure, sure. Ray Just another thing to have. Immediate protection. Eh. Now, um, it, your name was Bardis, was it? Are you going to walk into that room and immediately begin? I'm gonna start attack? kicking ass. <laughs> As it, before, b before he begins the ass kicking, Hugo does shout in. We need the barrier down when you have time, which hopefully you have right My now. God, the bear, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the two guys with silly voices are gonna get into a slap fight. Yes, they are having just a positively ridiculous argument. <laughs> A lot uh, of a lot of petty grievances are coming out. Boxes are being thrown and then put back in their place. <laughs> Uh, Kibbity, could you do me a favor? Ah. I want you to go in there, and I want you to scare those men until they are willing to help us. I believe you are the creature for the job. Ah. 
Sugar's eyes scream, no, don't do that. <laughs> no one asked her wait. a question. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, 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 he stops, he stops, he stops, Kimberly. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, you look like you have a question, you want to say something. How? <laughs> have I made a mistake? I need to believe I've made a mistake, but... What it's quite possible. Mind. You hear Kibiti let out a horrific scream while Bardis and Aludo do like the Shaggy and Scooby, oh my god, run away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where, where Shag picks up Scooby, you know? <laughs> no, does Bardis pick up Aludo? Goodness, no. The <laughs> barrier! Oh, different size difference thing, okay. The barrier, before you leave, the barrier! My god, the barrier! Let's get our mojo going! Unhand me! Very well! <laughs> and, uh, and they, and they walk up. <laughs> they walk up and simultaneously they say, Dispel magic! And it just goes away. <laughs> they did it. Uh, I'm also just gonna quickly ask, is anyone in our party like able to heal i would obviously oh, you, know that you heal uh you heal after uh after any major circumstance so you've had time to brush yourself off and oh, regain cool. your stamina so i can go okay cool oh so, awesome so would i go back to full hp as well then yes oh cool beans. okay and, then, and uh, okay. this is a this is a big chunk to reveal did Kabidi ruin that chair or was he just sitting no he it? just he was just sitting in it like a dog he doesn't okay, have yeah, to ruin Dario, everything. Dario just let him do that then. That's his chair now. <laughs> Thank you both for your... And then he he just turns to Bardis. Hard work. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then... Hey, it's nice walking. to have some gratitude. He's immediately assaulted with the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Bardis is now standing on a loot oh, and attacking oh, him, oh. and you simply cannot be bothered to stop uh, him. I, 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 <laughs> I forgot to mention, uh, at, on on the way out, uh, Hugo did get his jacket and pants, so he is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. properly redressed. I would never question that with Hugo. <laughs> Take it back to your room, you two. My god, you're making it sound sexual! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, we just keep walking. You walk away from what there. sounds like a tennis match. <laughs> oh, <can be> <laughs> Kabidi's like, yeah, there's like dominance displays. There's, there's th th these metal men are mating. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only explanation. There's no other possible answer. The plot of Iron Man 4. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, where should we go next? Well, you all work here, so you uh, you are all familiar. This, this door over here leads to the library, oh. and the doors over yonder... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, these ones uh, lead to the guest rooms. Uh, uh, is that is, is this is the door on the left just out? Yes, that leads out. I feel like <sighs> library first because if the pool was the way it was, I can't imagine what the library is like right now. Wallace Lib must have messed up literally everything. I imagine that libraries are common for hauntings in my time. <laughs> We've gone through at least four hauntings in this library, actually. Really? Oh, it's more than just a haunting, my man. Sla it's so... <laughs> you slap he him and he... <laughs> he dares to appear right next to Dario. He's getting slapped. <laughs> that shut him up. Um... Yeah, fucking Hugo doesn't even... He, he, he just keeps fucking walking. Knowing him, he wants some sort of big climactic fight. He's one of those guests. He did mention he wanted the walls taken down in his room. I foresee some sort of large fight happening in said room where the walls will be taken down. Yada, yada, yada. So, do we want a mid-fight in the library, or do we want his inevitable final fight where we give him his great request before he passes on to the next world? Uh, I feel like we should do a mid-fight, you know, because then it's like a, like a mid-boss. Plus, we need to find boss stairs. We haven't found those yet. Sugar I mean, there are some stairs right over there, but... A mid-fight seems quite appropriate considering we need a actual combat to pass to acquire that banishment potion. That's true. <laughs> we Sugar double nods. We are nods. in character, but out of character. <laughs> this is the worst. The, listen, we're basically at a Castlevania castle. There are rules. 
<laughs> yeah, no, that's what that's what Hugo's going by. Hugo, did, like, that was none of that was a joke. He's dealt with so much of this shit before. Fucking bellbots. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, no. they tend to be quite polite. They don't I break as much as some of the other hunters. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> I examine this this uh, candelabra for turkey. <laughs> There's no turkey in candelabra. You'll have to look at the walls for that. Oh, that's yeah. true. It is going to be in the walls most likely. Oh, Sugar, Sugar looks around. Her eyes are sad. She liked the library. Oh. <laughs> I'm uh, Sugar. I'm sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't be. <laughs> oh crap! That's right. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad when books get destroyed. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Yes, we had quite. Oh, it's such a shame. We had to recover these from the... Mm. Well, it burnt down table. quite a few years ago. I'm glad we uh, redid it, but we have to redo it again. Ugh. Hugo, can, can, can I step over to the other side of this bookcase? Oh, for sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nods, to, uh, nods to Sugar. Will you help me uh, write this back in its place? She, uh, she nods. She could have okay. verbalized, but wasn't necessary. Okay. So one, two, yeah. Huh. yeah what? Fuck it. Let's let's roll. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I climb to the top of this bookshelf Thank and uh, hmm. just keep an eye out on the entirety of the room, as if surveying my territory. <laughs> That's not unreasonable. So, so you you and Sugar start to write the bookshelf, and <clears throat> when you write it. Something quickly whoo, sc scurries out from under it. Uh, oh! oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Sugar is surprised and drops the bookshelf. <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god. Oh, guys, it's got a red mark on it. There are so many in this room. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> there are so many in this room that their turns on initiative have to be separated. We're fucked. Oh. <laughs> you... You take a gander at this thing, and, <clears throat> I don't know, would any of you like to try and identify what this is? Comprehend yeah. is what we're working with today. Comprehend. Uh, comprehend. Yeah, I'll try and comprehend this oh, thing. Okay. I've, I've... Oh, yeah, I can comprehend the shit out of it. I got it. Too. Awesome. Okay. I love comprehension. My Arabella uh, does not know. <laughs> most likely. Uh, do we just add the number? Yes, then? you add the number. Okay, so plus My five. My just points. Fish! <laughs> oh. Come on! <laughs> Very good. I'll fish. It. <laughs> <laughs> they both just point. Fish! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you didn't roll. 22! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You just did 22, not 1D22. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, maybe he'll roll a natural 20. <laughs> maybe it'll be another Insane. eight. Well, there. I mean, that's, all. that's quite good. Great, you understand what these are and are the person who's least possible to actually communicate this. We'll get the second least possible out of the way too. All right, you both <laughs> cannot communicate what these things are, but you absolutely do know that these are bookworms. Oh, look at you with a W-Y-R-M. Of course with a W-Y-R-M. Very they cute. Are, they are little beasties made of dragon blood and mana, and they eat books to gain power. And my god, have there been a lot of books chewed up here. Oh no. Did, did Hugo notice the, the teeth marks in, in books? Oh yeah, you do. And, so uh, he can put one and one, and one together and, and understand? You can, you can figure that much out at least. Sugar can also like wave you down and be like, ask me a fucking question. <laughs> Gugga, um, do you have any insight on what's happening? Yes, these are bookworms. This one in particular has been getting into the adventure novels. You can tell by its slightly red shimmer. Fantastic. Should we kill it? Should we capture it? Are there any suggestions you have with how we should deal with this issue? 
Uh, it begins uh, it begins to uh, scramble away. Uh, it it does start off on the ground, but then it begins flying and floating, as is oh. the, as is the case uh, for worms. Uh, oh no, it's moving towards the nonfiction. <laughs> Hugo Hugo takes out Cruel Fate, uh, and I'm gonna make a throw attack. Uh, you gonna throw a knife at it? Yeah, I'm gonna try and pin it to a wall. <laughs> um, slash wall one d two. Do I have any bonuses? Uh, I mean, you start combat in stealth, but we haven't started combat. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, so. So no. God, come on! <laughs> eight isn't <coughs> yeah, well, eight automatically is... a failure. Eight is probably enough. Depends on if these things have an any time or not. Let me let me remind myself. Uh, yeah, they totally do. <laughs> All right. Uh, and this one, this one has a red shimmer. Ah, all right, fantastic. Oh. All right, so oh. it rolled like shit, but you are not comforted by the fact that, like, you were considering throwing your knife, you started to do it, and it was on that shit before you even began. It started to make a lunge for you. You did throw your knife at it, though, and it is stabbed for, what, five? Yeah, five. It's pretty five. good. It uh, it lets out it lets out a dim little shriek, and predictably, a bunch of other mana worms are gonna come out of the the various workings here. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> there are so many. Turn order. Did you actually open? Uh, turn order yes. open for us. You can close it and open it again though if you want. Oh, turn order super borked for me. I need to refresh. Oh. <laughs> no, you're good. Here, I'll, I'll just start rolling my initiative. Uh oh. <laughs> the fucking power. Does my Rangers. ego bonuses and penalties also bring oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 You're fucking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now I get a good roll. Okay, okay. Okay, so. You've got an 18, you've got do, do, 16. Do, do, do. Uh, Will, did you roll? I did, I rolled a six. Oh, okay. uh, on that note, um, do I lose my um, ferocity points uh, between, between combat? Counter? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that shit, that shit's under control. You, yeah, you're, you're good. Uh, Crystal's not here and Sugar needs to roll. Come on, sugar. Oh. <laughs> Sugar's not ready. Sugar's been caught with her pants down. Are you the ready? Bookcase <laughs> the, the bookcase landed on Sugar's foot. Yeah, no, she's, <laughs> she would love to object, but cannot. <laughs> she's doing the funny Hanna-Barbera jump up and down while holding the foot thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. In that case, let's, uh, let's see here. I know I put in... God damn it, that track didn't actually put in, and I totally did. One second. <laughs> Everyone, it's okay. I'm going last. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, we have sugar. Hugo does turn to the rest of the staff and say, if you ruin anything else in this room, remember your jobs are on the line. <laughs> I just got a promotion. Oh! <laughs> Uh -oh. All right, and the bookworms are going quite fast. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, Kibidi, you're at the top of the pile. I'm going to go for this orange guy. Sure. Um, um, That's a lot of movement. Is it? Uh, yeah, I, no, I do have mobility. Uh, that doesn't affect anything. Cool. How much do a guy not move? Uh, five. Five. Okay. So you could get, like, here. Or, well, no, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, do you have any, like, ranged abilities? Boy, I sure don't. All right. Well, Boy, that's you my sure turn. do. I do? Yeah, you can yell at him. Oh. I yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I didn't see that anywhere. It's... <laughs> It's the first ability. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, on what? <laughs> on what? Did I do a garbage job copying and pasting? I hope not. 
Hold on, I'm, I have to check and see who's an idiot. Is it me or is it you? <laughs> it might be me, uh, but I see weapon snake hands and Austin, passive... scroll down. Oh, hold on. Oh, wow, yeah, oh no, I only saw the first whole character page. Sheet. Oh <laughs> my god, that's where all your shit is! <laughs> oh, all right. No, I only oh. saw the first page, all right. Oh, <laughs> no! Let me see here. So, Echo Lobotomy. Um, yes. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, that's what I'll go for. Uh... Sure, scream at him. <laughs> Just a d20, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. right, right in the middle. That. That'll that'll do damage, and we'll see if he is frazzled as per the ability effect. He is yeah. not frazzled. That's okay. Still damage. Still damage. You you yell at it, trying to fry uh, trying to fry its brain. And you're not actually confident where its brain is. Hugo. Okay. Now you're in stealth. So, one, two, three, four five so i'm behind this bookshelf uh mm -hmm. because i'm trying to make sure that no one none of the other bookworms see me do this oh they uh, absolutely see you do this uh just just so we're all clear here uh this this part is lower down the bookshelves only go up to like the base of the lip you know uh, and that's a handrail yeah 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 okay uh all right um question i can't since my weapon is still in it can I like basically remove and stab again or is removing uh, the knife its own action? Removing the knife would be its own action, such as the price of leaving it places. <laughs> okay, uh, then I am going to uh, take out my second knife, the unimpressive cutlery that I keep around just in case anyone needs jam spread on their toast. Uh, and <laughs> I am going uh, for another stab. Sure. Twelve. All right. Well, now that we're officially in combat, it does get another try at its own <laughs> time. Ah, not today, buddy. Not today. Oh. All right. It has used its anytime ability. Easy read. It saw it coming. It slides. Easy it's. Read. It slides away and eats a book while it's at it. Oh no. Hugo is so. Uh -oh. Okay, um, who is able to see Hugo right now? I can. Uh, me. Uh, uh, I think uh, most of us. I there mean, you're in stealth. No one knows. Oh, no, you're not in stealth. Oh, you attacked. Yeah. Um, uh, since that is <clears throat> missing an attack, uh, you see there is, like, a twitch of anger on Hugo that is, uh, unnatural. Like, his eyes are getting a little bloodshot and his body isn't moving the way a body should. Awesome. I'm sure and, he's uh, fine. Uh, Veg, if you uh, you've got the little uh, you've got a little red uh, red circle with a zero, you can mark your ferocity in there. Yep. Perfect. Oh. Awesome. All right. The bookworm term. Oh boy. Okay. So so the orange bookworm is going to start. Uh, because people are positioned nicely for a little attack of his. He is going to move up here, and he is going to <coughs> use the patented ability of, uh, of the bookworm, their pulp breath. <laughs> ah. Eleven is pretty good. Anyone, uh, anyone in the, uh, in the fucking... Four by four square in front of it is going to be subjected to pulp breath, which is going to be five damage and potential stagger. Uh, Would any of you like to do something? I will try. Uh, I will overcharge to make it an anytime action. I will use mm -hmm. Critter Catcher. Uh, throw a makeshift net over the target, inflicting sluggish physical on a uh, person sized creature or immobilize on a smaller than person sized animal. Range five. So I will. And uh, it certainly qualifies. So. I will give that a try. No! Oh, just a little oh. too shy. I'm excited to take nine damage. <laughs> Such is the price we pay for any time abilities. <laughs> All right, well. Well, uh, I think I'm going to try to turn, turn into, into mist. mist. 
I think I need to, or else things are going to get bad for Dario. That makes so sense. So quickly. <laughs> His ego is in dangerous levels reaching here. Oh, God. And I will start inhaling that shit. Oh, oh no. Like... Oh, no, guys. <laughs> oh, your lord isn't doing great. Awesome. All right. So then, all of you, what all of you take five, and uh, it is passion to resist stagger. Okay. Uh, passion. Where do I have that? That is oh, uh, that is on your that's on your bingus. It is uh, for oh, you. Yeah, it's two. Okay. Oh, mine's a plus three. All right. I'm feeling good. Does about my that. minus also take effect here? Is it everything? It's Whoa! everything. Cool. I'm <laughs> glad I got that twenty earlier. <laughs> Such a, such is the way that it goes. All right. Uh, so you, so everyone who's not Austin passed the, uh, passed the 11 that was required. You got a 20, so I'll, I'll get you a little extra something, something. You can reposition yourself up to three spaces. Where'd you like to go? Um, can I, can I save Kabidi? <laughs> you know what? Sure. I you can. I save Kabidi. <laughs> You you protect your dog. The dog does not die. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage have I taken? Uh, that'll be five, and it'll be none for Kabidi, because your friends are nice. I help you. You help. Wait, wait uh, I will remember this. Two, two, three, four. What are you questioning? Uh, I... Okay, question. What's the parentheses three next to one of my? That is abilities? the that is the stamina cost. You you pay okay. the stamina to use it. Uh, can I? Uh, you, uh, Dario's in trouble, right? Uh, Dario's gonna be taking a bit of damage, and more importantly, a hit to his ego. Okay, <gasps> I am going to. We're I am in going. Dangerous level. Can I activate my live to serve? You may. Mm. Uh, I can appear at the side of an ally within five spaces, allowing me to aid them or block an attack in their place. Uh, succeeding on either of these things, grant me plus three on my next attack ability or roll. So, Hugo is going to, like, you don't see him move. He's just, like, he basically shadow steps. <laughs> and... He takes a place in front of the young master and does like, not a full hug, but like a block hug to take the attack. Oh. Like T-posing dramatically with his back turned to the damage. <laughs> yes. Sure. sure, roll to see if this is cringe or not. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's always possible. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, it's not cringe! You yes! spared your master's ego! <laughs> yes! And you'll be taking that five in his stead. Yep. Uh, so that's eight total then, and yeah. an added uh, ferocity point? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so that's two. Uh, uh, th uh, 27. Cool. All right. Uh... That was the first worm's action. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a couple more of these we're going to have to get through. Oh. All right. Uh, these uh, these two worms are going to are going to try and goon Sugar who's currently currently pinned via via bookshelf. And they're just going to try and bite her. <gasps> oh. oh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so oh. I've got something for this. You do uh, have something for this if you yeah. if you feel like it. Well, wait, they're just doing a bite? Yeah, no, they're doing a bite which is not yeah, an ability. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it. Sorry, sugar. Yeah, you don't care that much about sugar. <laughs> All right, so uh, they're going to bite I don't the even think I could make it. Um oh, wait, um, yeah, I can, just barely. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't feel like it. All right, so Sugar's about to take... Uh, these bites are for six damage apiece. So Sugar is going to take 18 damage. Sugar is suddenly doing bad. Uh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> right. eight, oh. 18 damage? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right. Oh. Things have escalated a little, gang. Just a touch. Uh, 
and uh, these other worms are just going to are just going to move in. Uh, this one with the pink sheen decides to just hang out with another worm instead of attacking. All right, Dario. Oh, I'm getting quite upset at this. <laughs> oh, Dario, uh, since you're next up in initiative, can you hit me with a quick perception? Oh, Ooh. I don't. That's not one of his good ones. <laughs> Oh! Awesome. Oh! Dario, you hear- Oh wait, hear... the ego's coming back! I got a great- <laughs> Everything's turning up! Everything's Dario. coming up, Dario! <laughs> the ego is repaired! So, Dario, <laughs> while you're thinking about how great you are that you heard something, you heard something. It sounds like a big-ass motherfucker having a big old mind. <laughs> oh. And uh, oh. I will I will roll 1d6 to see what flavor of book he's been enjoying. All right. Fantastic. He's been reading Karl Marx. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, political theory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, crap, he's the one who got the zombies to unionize. <laughs> <laughs> now it is your turn, Dario. Everyone, I have a startling revelation. Yeah? Yes? There's an even bigger one down there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I probably saw it earlier. <laughs> you might have. <laughs> Hard to say. <laughs> Who can say? Well, now I... All right, so I think what I'm going to do is this is turned into a situation where there is a lot of enemies. So I think he's going to use his once per combat blood from stone. Ah. Of course. I forgot to get you a unique golem, so you're going to be oh. getting an old friend. It's okay. I think you'll be happy to see him. Is it the oh. candle golem? It's not the candle golem. I do not have that. Damn. Uh. Will 20 do stupid on me? <laughs> <laughs> So give me just a second. Also, uh, roll to see if you fail at your blood from stone. Unless it's a no roll. I don't remember if it is or not. Um, it just says summon your... Summon, All right, summon so you do man. have to roll. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Dario. Don't worry, my ego came back from that crit, so we're yeah, doing okay. Yeah, your crit. <laughs> God. Yo! Oh, oh, it's the best, best fucking guy on her. His ego is skyrocketing at unheard of <laughs> levels. Uh, okay. So uh, here, here's your options for uh, for your companion. We can either have uh, we can either have this old wax golem, <laughs> or or we can have or we can have this old friend. Oh my god, our I, old friend! I'm, I mean, this is your choice. I love this fucking s'mores golem. <laughs> <laughs> For now, maybe in a different combat we can have our old friend, but we'll have the s'mores. All right, we've golem. got we've got s'mores unlimited, and you you crit, so s'mores is giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, original lampain candle golem. No. <laughs> Why do I still have that? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have successfully summoned your your golem. You you reach into your pocket and pull out a little stone. You nick uh, you nick your hand so you bleed on it. And coming forth is this mushy pile of shit. Oh God! Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, my finest creation so far. The abstract <laughs> is beautiful this time of year. <laughs> My finest creation. It was, an art, it was an artistic choice, of course. Oh, oh. yeah, it's an artistic choice. With a 20, he can't not be proud of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he can, uh, he can act upon being summoned, so what would you like him to do? Well, when I thought he was going to be smaller, I was going to have him in the, like, zone here to just start wailing on this group. But since he's so big, I guess he could just wail on the one closest to him. Yeah. 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 Oh. That's well. his role, so I don't care if he fails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this one, 
This one was looking up at the golem with big, shining, childish eyes, and 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 you you could almost hear inside of it, "Wow, a golem!" Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hit it very hard. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, your best way. Huh? I haven't done my move actually. Oh, you oh. haven't done your move, and you, you can use that for something to... practical. Yeah, so I'm gonna move up to stand next to Sugar and stab the the purple dot one. Sure. All right, you stab at this purple dot one, and there's something about its aura that makes it truly impenetrable. Your your blade passes right through it. It snickers a little bit in smug superiority. Bastard. How dare you? Does that count as a roll fail? You didn't fail, but my god, did you not succeed. You'll decide how you feel about this in relation to your ego at a later date. Alright, cool. <laughs> mm, Fire bell. Uh, let's see here. Uh, can I pass through the s'mores golem? Yeah. Okay. So I will one, yeah. He's two, a friend. Three, four, five. <laughs> um, actually, if I go diagonal, I can... Mm, Oh, I can't use my ability the way I want to if I do that, though. So, uh, I will use my uh, anytime ability, Acid Reflex. Mm -hmm. um, it's once per combat, because it does a three by three square. So I'm going to bop all three of these boyos. Yeah. Uh, beep, boop, beep. Uh, let me roll my d20. Uh, boop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, pretty oh. lousy, but uh, I'm generous oh. on once per combats. Uh, they are all going to take their shot at yeah. not getting hit, though. Yeah, because they, they do have to make a, uh, a passion and a fizz check to avoid poison and nearsighted. Uh, yeah, they're all going to try and bail before, the, before that shit comes up. Uh, minus three. They are all going to take a try with their, uh, with their easy read. So... Blue boy, easy. Uh, oh? The pink one, not so much. And the green, yeah. So you just you just get the pink. Okay. These and ones. Do they need to roll two, again uh, for the nearsighted? Uh, yes. Okay. So that one that one does have the problem. So what is it? Passion and fizz? Yes. Uh, and so the first one will take poison three. Yes. Here we go. Eh. Bad. Oh boy. Alright, so it's not nearsighted, but it's poison to fuck. Uh, and then I can't use my move action, so. You did already move. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that, I guess. Sure. Uh, you, uh, by the way, when, while you were spewing acid, you saw that this bookworm had little hearts in its eyes. Now you can't see it. Oh, that's sad. Well, love is dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, these two, uh, I need to, I need to remember to mark, because they, they do get to eat books whenever they do in any time. blue one turns into a green one. I don't know what this means yet. <laughs> Truth be told, you probably will never discover what it means. <laughs> and the pink one becomes a blue one. Or not the pink one, the green one becomes a blue one. They just traded. They traded! Or have you read Traders. this yet? Oh my god, I've been wanting to. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh, that's so long though. <laughs> uh, Sugar, Sugar's a simple gal. She's just gonna, she's gonna take a swing at the. Uh, no, 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 she won't. Oh, <laughs> Sugar's oh, bleeding. Oh, Sugar. <laughs> uh, Sugar, do you have anything? Do you have anything at all? Uh, you can. So she can attack with her move. So she'll try and do that. She'll go for a slash dash. That's a little better, but it's probably just going to prank her. Let's see. Come on, sugar. Oh! Oh, it just barely doesn't prank her! <laughs> sugar furiously tugging to get her foot unstuck, bleeding profusely after being fucking mauled by bookworms, manages to cut off this little freak before uh, before he manages to duck into the bookshelf. Ah. Uh, no, he doesn't. 
uh, I just realized I actually, uh, unfortunately, I, I don't know if you want to call this. Um, he still has my blade in him, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Your your blade, uh, your blade lands here. Uh, well, yeah, it's a, it's a little it's a little late to remember. He's dead okay. anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying like he fucking vanished through the wall. Yeah. Turns out um, enemies are immobilized if my knife's in him. Yeah. Oh. I forgot about that as well. Your knife is over there. Uh, in case you feel like picking it up, Kibiti didn't get to go. Kibiti! <laughs> uh, Kibiti's gonna go over here and is gonna use. Uh, let's do. I'm gonna do Thousand Year Gaze. Alright. Uh, so I'm just gonna like grab onto this guy and just look him in the eye. Yeah, um, go for it, my man. Uh, let pulling me see. a ghost rider? Deal. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, Kibiti does a lot of ghost rider. <laughs> and so it's just a d20, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Oops. Oh my cool. god. Ah, fucking lousy. It's gonna try and get away. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yo, what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? It it furiously it furiously wiggles while you're just staring at it, but like you can't get a good look at it because it keeps wiggling. But eventually, you manage to like grab it with your other fistful of snakes and just pin it down and look at it until it dies. This is the turn order one. He's going over here. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> fistful of snakes is my favorite band. Mine too. Here you go. Uh, really quick, um, if I remember correctly, attacking the purple one with a physical attack did nothing? Yes. Okay. Oh. Um, hmm. I'm glad you caught that. Uh, so hard no, yeah, I caught that. Also, I can pass through allies, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Probably can't one, stay in the same space as them, but yeah. Two, Sugar, uh, Sugar saw three. the whole, uh, the whole maneuver with the, uh, with the purple one and like tries to get anyone at all to prompt her for uh picking up my knife sugar thoughts <clears throat> the purple one it it ate a bunch of mystery books you have to kill that one last fantastic <laughs> um let me see here how what an inconvenient. how long is my it's five no. Yeah, I can't really... You want to throw your knife again? <clears throat> uh, no, because all I can hit is the one who has to die last. Wait, <laughs> hold on. I mean, unless you I... do the craziest bank shot. <laughs> yeah, I a... would fucking pull off a wanted. <laughs> it's about the shittest angle imaginable, but you could try it. <laughs> Fuck yes, I'm gonna fucking try it. You just have to um... curve the knife <laughs> as you throw it. <laughs> Which, by the way, um... Uh, Dario, as I pass you, you notice, you notice, um, Hugo is, he's not just frazzled. Um, there is a cut along his jawline that is, it looks rotted green. It is, it looks like moss under leather. It looks mm. almost like his face isn't a real face. It's like he's wearing something else's face over his own. Same TBH. Uh, <laughs> oh, his yes. oh, condition is acting up again. I'm sure he'll fix it later. And he is going to make the sickest bank shot of all time. Oh. Hey! hey! Actually, <laughs> that's a sick bank shot. Yeah. You you throw uh you throw your you throw your blade it Shit. easy. Uh, your blade is now over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking. There's no way I could. I, I can't throw my unimpressive cutlery, right? No, no, okay. not at all. It's not aerodynamic. Okay. It's weighted. It's a butter knife. It's Come unimpressive. Now. It's fine. I, st I still impressive. have my butter knife. Butter knives can still stab. <laughs> uh, yes. And with that, with that he kind of rubs up against that gash and it's like putty Ugh. and it covers it up and he looks perfectly fine again. 
he is very happy with what just happened. <laughs> the mystery bookworm is going to use his his pulp breath on you. Oh! Oh! He's right. choking. <laughs> <laughs> Do I still have to roll? Just no. Just find the words. The no, he failed. He's choking. He's choking. Oh, God. Who did it? Who poisoned the mystery worm? <laughs> choking now. Classic whodunit. Damn, everybody's joking now. <laughs> the clock's run up, time's up, over, blow. <laughs> All right. Uh, this worm uh, flies up, and it looks uh, looks to you, Myrabelle, with, with super kind eyes. Oh. It does not do anything. Oh my goodness, oh. hello. <laughs> uh, the the pink one, on the other hand, is uh, is going to bite the ever loving shit out of you. Reasonable. <laughs> so it is uh, it is going to go for that. Let's do it. Uh, pretty crap. It'll still hit you. Yeah. Just only a bit. Yeah. Um. I don't really. I don't want to burn more bullshit on this. So yeah, I'll take the hit. Yeah, sure. It's only going to get partial, so take four. Whoa! <laughs> it's only partial. My arm! <laughs> My fucking arm! All right. And I, don't big... have, I don't have medical insurance. <laughs> the big motherfucker's going to keep eating books. All right. The big motherfucker has turned purple. Uh-oh. 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 Wait. But who dies first? Ones. The, are uh, they invincible? <laughs> I'm gonna say, since one of these guys is choking, he's lost his right to be killed last. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, that one, that one has turned green. He he coughed up the mystery book. <laughs> Get demoted, idiot. <laughs> All right. And the the big one, uh, satisfied with its full belly of knowledge, is is going to start moving. Oh but god. That's, uh, that's all he's got. For well, the we gotta kill the ads quick now. <laughs> quick! Clear the ads! Quick! Don't fuck right, well, up. First, we're gonna have the golem hit Pinky. Of course. I hope it makes a squelch noise as it punches. Uh, it does not make a squelch noise. It's very, it's very impressive. Like. Wet clay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no, it's like it is marble, so it's marble made to have the appearance of it's wet, wet clay. clay. Oh, could, uh, oh. I see, it's could a, tell it's you in detail how impressive it is. It's extremely impressive, and not at all completely stupid to the casual observer, like all pieces of high art. You successfully hit him. I was gonna <laughs> say it's like throwing a wet ham at a wall. <laughs> 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 And Just what would you, <laughs> and what would you yourself like to do, Dario? All right, well, I'm going to take a normal action to stab this choking one in front of me. He's so sad. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a crit. That is a crit for you, yes. <laughs> oh. Because you strive for perfection, you have increased critical hit range. Uh, yeah, this one is, this one is choking. It looks up to you with sad glimmer in its eyes. You feel as though that maybe it's hoping faith will save it. No mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dog. All right, and then I'll take my, yeah, and then I'll take my move action to one, two. Or wait, no, that's technically in its space. Damn, hmm. I don't think I can make it. Yeah, you can't. You can't end where it is. You can just pass through them. How many spaces can you move? Uh, with my move and attack ability, only three. Oh, so all right. I couldn't move and attack, so but I could. Uh, You'll just have, have to anything. settle for moving, then. Yeah, I'll just have to settle for moving. So I, be it. I think he's just going to assume you guys can take care of the ads. <laughs> and gets ready to engage the bigger one. Awesome. Hmm. Fireball. Uh, let's see here. I probably shouldn't burn too much stamina right now, because I feel like I will be in grave danger if I do so. Uh, so... I mean, hey, it would only be two people in grave danger. Yeah. So, 
you know what? Yeah, what I'll do is, as a move action, I mm -hmm. will do Tools of the Trade. Carelessly toss one of your various uh, yard-working tools to the side, leaving it on the ground as a potential, pot potentially extremely dangerous obstacle. Any target that steps on the tool will be left vulnerable. So uh, I will just plop it, like, in front here, so, like, as it's coming up. Sure, you throw out a rake. Perfect. Oh, my is it gonna do? Is it gonna do the Three Stooges thing where it steps on it and it bonks it in the face? That's the hope. That's the dream. <laughs> oh, you do have to roll. Let's see if oh, this I still rake. Have to roll. Yes, that makes Let's sense. Let's see if this rake is doomed to fail. No, it's you. You, while trying to do something else, throw a rake over there. Yep. Uh, and then I will pull out my machete. <laughs> and yep. I will swing at this one because I think it's the most damaged so far. Oh no! <laughs> An accurate assessment that this one is not blinded by love. It dodges the machete. <laughs> Come on. Come on! <laughs> Just tossing the machete between her hands. Come on, you sick <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like threatening it. Yeah, okay, I gotcha. Ah, <laughs> uh, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Alright, she's gonna go one, two, three, four. Five. She can't really get in range to accomplish much of anything. Tell you what, uh, she'll <laughs> she'll double move and oh. uh, and get your knife ready for you. you oh, cow. <laughs> perfect! Per that hey, that sets me up for a plan actually. So, all right, give it. Be careful with right. the rake. I am going. Wait, where's the rake? Oh, the rake is right shit. here. Okay, oh, I see it. Oh shit! I am going to uh, tongue lash this fellow and bring myself towards it. Sure. Give it a give it a go. Oh. Ooh. That that's that's not that's not too bad at all. I gotta say. <laughs> Nineteen out of twenty. It's all right. All right. It's decent. It's decent. All right. Uh, tongue lash. Let me let me give it a quick gander. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So pulling yourself doesn't require anything. So yeah. Zip. Whoop. Oh, got it. Uh, do do pay the stamina cost for that. Uh, oh, what's the good. stamina cost? Uh, three. It's the little number. Gotcha. All right. So you're here. Now what? Uh, so I did damage. Uh, you did not do damage. The tongue lash just gets you here. Oh, oh okay. In that case, uh, I'm By going... By the way, freak shit, in case anybody was unaware that he could do that, everyone watches Kabidi do that. Oh! Wow. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going Nothing to... Nothing can face me. I'm having the best moments of my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rampage. Oh. oh. All right. As you do. Uh, yeah. Let me, uh... Minus three, and I'm gonna start start flacking. Uh... Yeah. Uh, so rampage allows uh, allows Kabidi to take just an entire extra turn. So oh. <laughs> you've uh, you've got it. Sure. You just uh, you're just going at it with your snake hands. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, like I've got one chimpanzee arm, and then like one arm that is just a bundle of snakes. Sure. Not sure. And they're all plus tangling three, each other. Up. They're tangling each other up uh, right now, so that I have like a, a snake mace. Uh, <laughs> Jesus that I can, Christ! <laughs> that I'm just smashing the shit out of him with. Oh my God! Sure. Uh, you don't have plus three on this, just so you know. Your physique doesn't add to your attack rolls. Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. I uh, believe... the, the the bonuses are specifically for skill checks. So like when we're in all, combat, just d20s. Unless all it's all rolls you. All rolls you make during this extra turn have plus three. Oh, oh okay. never mind. Sorry, before you added a plus three for reasons I didn't understand, I thought you were still doing that. All right, yeah, oh, okay. sure. <laughs> yeah. Got it. All right, yeah, no, uh, easily. Uh, so are you swinging at the blue or the pink? Uh, blue. All right, you you take a big bite out of the blue. <laughs> you gonna get, you gonna do it again? He's still yeah. up? Yeah, yeah. Like, fucking get him. <laughs> uh... Yo! Get him. Your your swarm of snakes pull in this one, who, I can't stress this enough, looked completely harmless, and <laughs> devour it. <laughs> I wonder what book 
books that one read? Children's just... books. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I see uh, the bones of his ally <laughs> at the at this guy. Well, you're broken. Harmlessly. Alright. <coughs> that was horrifying. Hugo. Uh Hugo is going to take one, two, three, four, five steps. And he Sugar is passes going... you your knife. Perfect. Now, here's a weird question. Sure. Is the golem. Oh, okay, I have two questions. One, is the golem technically in a three by three around me? Uh, he is. <coughs> he's a big ass motherfucker in general. Um, what's your angle here? Uh, smoke bomb. Can I, can I put the golem in stealth? <laughs> you put the golem in stealth. Yeah, you can put the golem in stealth. Yes! Where did he go? Oh, where did he go? I uh, okay, and here is a follow up question. Mm -hmm. Um, is the stealth only while they're in the smoke bomb? Yeah. Or, oh, okay, so, so there would be no point then. Not terribly, no. Yeah. It would have been, you know, putting the goal in the smoke bomb, it would have been cool. Save that for later. Yeah, I'll save that for later. That'll be our wombo combo. Anyways, I'm going to do something infinitely cooler and use a moment, please. I am going to fucking disappear into the darkness. Which is going to? Can I? Can I? Nope. Hold on. Wait. Come on. Can I? Can I? Can I remove points? Can I, there we go. <laughs> that costs three, mm -hmm. so I'm down to twenty-four. Uh, I am now back in stealth, and I can reposition myself anywhere on the current map. Now you do. You do still need to roll to see if you have fucked up oh, immediately. Right. Right. <laughs> true. Appears in Worm's mouth. Uh -oh. It's fine. I'm kind on once per combat. It's okay. dubious, but yes, you succeed. Okay. I am right behind him in stealth. I, I take it I can't attack this turn since I just uh, did that. Yeah, this was this was your action. I don't Besides, think that is the time. mystery one. So we do have the problem of this pink. Yeah. Gold. So I'm just fucking waiting. I. Oh wait. Oh, the orange one too. We still need to kill the orange one. Orange no, one? the orange one is is oh, he's dead. Initiative. He's it's initiative just boy. he's the initiative one. Oh, okay. So if, oh, if we God. were to delete him as normal, it would knock him off the turn order. Okay. Pretty dick move if Lab was like, and this one leaves the arena. <laughs> leaves the arena. <laughs> <laughs> he will yeah, do not... nothing but run. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that much of an asshole. That being said, this one's gonna do nothing but run. Ah, oh, <laughs> I have an ability that. Oh, I haven't hurt him recently though, have I? Uh, I don't think so. I think you. I think you. Whoop. It's gonna try and run away. So those of you with any times uh, to do something about that. I will burn four stamina again to critter catch. Because <laughs> I sure. So minus. Yeah, how, yeah, yeah. Uh, how are any times represented on the uh, exclamation, on the... exclamation point? Ooh, I do have tongue lash. Fuck. You did just use it. Nah, man. Nah, someone else gotta try. <laughs> Help me. Oh, Sorry, this, my yeah, anytime's are selfish, yeah, gotcha. and I'm over here. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> Later. Um, does Sugar have one? I know Sugar has one, but I don't think it's of any particular use at the moment. Um, no, no, that won't help. All right, this thing double moves away and starts cowering behind a bookshelf. Oh God. It fucking double moves away. Oh no. So enjoy that problem. <laughs> oh god. All right. Big motherfucker. Uh, he he has taken he has taken enough turns of not contributing. He is ready. He is going to go for his superior pulp breath. Does he uh, which, move? Uh, no. That's no, reasonable. <laughs> yeah, Marvel is looking his... at the stairs. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He is also currently floating, so this was this was not gonna work out for you. He's going to use his superior pulp breath, which instead of being a four by four square, is a four by uh, line. Oh. So, oh. oh, let's let's get this bread. A a sixteen will do it. Does anybody have an any time they'd like to use? I don't think my critter catcher would do anything. He's very <laughs> big. <laughs> yeah, what? So, hold on. What's going on with the turn order here? What do you uh, mean? 
Okay, never mind. I understand now. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I have unnerving gaze, but like I don't, I don't know if that would do anything. I mean, it will if you beat a sixteen. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I mean, I might as well give it a shot then. Um, let's see, minus two. I'll pay that toll. Uh, and then uh, let's fucking go. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, not quite good enough. This guy's been studying up with his plus two. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right, well. I mean, I can try to go mist form to not get bodied. Yeah, this will be one of those get bodied kind of attacks. No. Oh, oh no. Oh. Mistform has not been your friend. No. No. Or Mistform. Uh, what is what is what is your stamina at right now, Rube? It's it, it, my stamina is quite good because I got crits. Oh, okay. And crits okay. vampire me up, so okay. I am in quite a good stamina state. But we're about to be told how much damage we're taking. Oh, okay. I'm a fool. Thank you, Chef, for reminding me. I will activate my ring. I totally forgot I have that. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, that one's a lot more sensible. It, it Provided if you can get it to work, that will easily protect you and Kibiti and your uh, and your golem friend. Well, not, probably not entirely, to be honest. I mean, any protection is big. some, you know... So, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Awesome. All of you in this line will be taking nine damage. Dario, oh, would you okay, like to take fine. nine damage for your golem? No, the goal. I'm not taking 18 damage. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm not taking 18 damage. The golem has to go. And roll passion or be stunned. Uh, passion. I think I'm okay at passion. Yeah, alright. Uh, feeling good about this. Ooh, that's a failure. <laughs> Uh, Dario, you're fine, remarkably. I have even more bonus on that. I'm super fun. You're super <laughs> fine. Mirabel is not super fine. What about you, Kibiti? Uh, I, I'm okay. Golem <laughs> 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 is gone. <laughs> and this is what am I rolling? Uh, passion. Uh, yeah, to see if you're stunned or not. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here. You, you can't simply decide not to. It's imaginary. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you're good. And then there's an emerald encrusted. Yeah, I find a golden egg. <laughs> All right, so the uh, the bookworm releases just a torrent of of paper breath and an awful which is completely fine for two of you, and Myra is fucking debilitated by it. My back! <laughs> Dario! This is quite an inconvenience, since I cannot go, as my sister would say, ape shit on this. <laughs> I, uh, I could go ape shit on this fucking big thing, but I can't. I just can't. Just can't. Mm, okay, I'm looking at my my possibilities. Not to alarm anyone, I'm very low on stamina. <laughs> and uh, in case we've forgotten, there is a rake there. Be mindful of the rake. I've betrayed all of you. <laughs> <laughs> we can't damage this thing. We got to take out the pink first. Oh, that's right. So, does it not damage, or would it go down to one? Um, that is a that is a great question. It's not damaged. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, then. Yeah, we gotta go kill that pink guy. I can throw a rake. <laughs> <laughs> Launch it! It'll float right over it. <laughs> If you if you want, you can hold, and Sugar can do a big try to try and get the pink one. Yeah, I yeah, I, I I have something I can do, but I'd rather not waste my whole turn running after that thing. Yeah. Uh, Mirabel, would you like to wait in case big try is successful? I'm stunned. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. Yeah, fuck you. So, uh, <laughs> that, that passes now, though, right? Like, I am. Yeah, no, now you're fine. Oh, uh, sorry. You're robbed of, uh... Is this a pinch nerf? I'm okay. Ah. All right. Sugar's big try. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and she is going to use her anytime ability, Absurd Dodge, to try to try and get herself within melee range of this motherfucker. Oh, hey. there we go. Okay. Oh, that's a number. Okay. Yeah, exactly able to get in melee range. Just hit it, sugar. Please, sugar, please. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and her passive allows her to do enough damage to wipe this son of a gun. <laughs> hey! No one sees her do it, but my god, is it cool. <laughs> she just throws her hands up silently like, woo! <laughs> yeah, she throws up a single thumbs up. <laughs> Oh God, Dario, Dario! You have to kill it in one shot. It's your wait, own. Dario. Yeah, Dario. At sixteen, held his yeah, action. Yeah, Dario held. I held my. Oh, action gotcha, after, gotcha, so gotcha. That, yeah. Because mystery guy, I, and I would have had to spend my whole turn doing that when I can be Dario. Understand. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's my move because I'm in my good ego bracket bracket i get to take another move so i'm going to use exploit weakness hell yeah oh exploit some weakness essentially yeah, if this hits i'm going to make it so that the next person to attack this guy gets a plus two. Oh, oh shit and just so we're all clear here dario gets like extra actions when he has Woo! a lot of these okay. and you okay. successfully crit fantastic <laughs> all right dario uh... is He's overpowered if he can roll well. If he can't roll well, everything goes horrible. Yeah, when it rains, it pours for Dario is the thing. <laughs> I was like, what's the, yeah. what's the positive version of that? When it suns, it shines. <laughs> yeah, when it suns, it shines, my guys. <laughs> Blows him up. <laughs> All right, you, you, stab, you stab the hell out of this and its weakness has been exposed. All right, so now I'm into my next eco bracket. I love this world. Oh. All right, so then I'm going to... All right, then for my action, I am going to do freezing touch. Sure. I'm so scared. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, that's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is pretty good. It is gonna try and get away. It's gonna go for an easy read, as they do. Whoa! Ooh. 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 Oh, just Damn. A, dude, come just on. too easy a read. Does the plus two from the vulnerable thing that uh, Dario just no, did? It's no, it's for the unless it's creature. different on a crit. It's for my next ally. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fair enough. Just wanted to double check. So this son of a gun scoots away, happy to be nowhere near you, and eats just a giant mouthful of books, hoping it can get something that will not hinder it. Four. Fuck. All right. What is orange again? Okay. You don't know. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, I've got an idea. I love ideas. That, uh, that combo thing... Back here! Give me the... Yeah, that that combo thing is still still in play, yep. right? Cool. Yeah. Plus two. I'm I'm gonna step tongue. right here, and then I'm gonna tongue lash it and pull it right here. That's oh! oh! Yeah, go this for thing it. It's huge. Let's go. That's uh, a big dick see. play. It's two, and then I gotta I gotta roll on that. I'm you gotta sorry. roll on that. You gotta ro roll on everything. Okay. You gotta oh. roll something. One. Oh, I saw, oh, I saw that! I saw it! Uh, sorry to say, you <laughs> you lash your tongue at him, hoping to pull him over, and this was ambitious even for you. Uh, I was gonna eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Just very casual. I was going to eat him. Lunch. That's what he says, and it sounds just like that. <laughs> I was gonna eat him. You, you still have, like, an action. Uh... Well, I've already moved, and I've already moved again. Um, uh, 
I, okay, okay, I've got it. Uh, I'm going to do Gazing Catastrophe. Um, ah, okay. Through the it's... rake. Yeah, through the rake. <laughs> um, let me see. This has got my dice roller. All of my gathered power in the center of my cyclopean eye. I can fire a piercing laser beam from my eye in, <laughs> in a straight line, dealing <laughs> 10 damage plus one for each ability I've learned from work in progress. I've learned nothing from work in progress, but... <laughs> but hey, 10 damage is 10 damage. Give it a give it a shot. Hey! Ah, easy shot. It is blasted for 10 damage, along with all these fucking bookshelves. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> Hugo is under the table right now, and he is scribbling notes. <laughs> Your performance review is going very poorly. <laughs> what will he do without this job? <laughs> I will, I ro I will roam the, the countryside for free. <laughs> All right, Hugo. All right, um, so Hugo is uh, going to be pretty... Okay. I take it I can't, like, stand on one of these bookshelves and stab, right? Um, not really. Uh, if you wanted to do a skill check of some kind, I would, <coughs> I'd allow you to get up there. Uh, no, he's, he's pissed. He's no, just gonna go awesome. up and fucking stab. <laughs> he is just fucking stabbing this dude. Sure um, so it's in stealth, so it gets a plus three. Uh, oh, which is a 15. I forgot yeah, to add the yeah. plus three. So yeah, he, he only has the one anytime. So he's not getting away from you. Um, So that's five damage. Would you like to leave the blade in him? No, because I'm stabbing him a second time now uh, using my two ferocity to make a second melee attack. Ah, sure thing. Uh, so roll 1d20. <laughs> Uh, kind of shrimpy, but you do still do it. Okay, and I do leave it in that time. All right. <clears throat> the blade, the blade has been left in him. It is, it is passion or be immobilized, or is it fixed? Uh, uh, it's passion saver be immobilized. Ah, okay. In that case, what's your passion, buddy? Uh yeah. oh oh I should uh oh hold on I don't think it's good. It's no, gone. not yours. Not uh, yours. The You're good. Worms. It's the, the oh, thank worm. God. The worm yeah. has to save. You the, don't have the to The bookworm's save. pretty passionate. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> the bookworm is not immobilized. <laughs> and it's uh, it's pretty bad that, uh, that it wasn't. <laughs> All right. The bookworm is going to go one, two, three, four, oh. five. Oh, oh. Oh, no. oh. Please don't. And, uh, not again. No. <laughs> Here it comes. And the orange shimmer for uh, for those uh, for those on in the know uh, indicate history. And as we as we've been taught, history repeats no. itself. No. no. <laughs> we'll be going for another superior pulp breath. Oh, I. Oh. Uh, this was. Um. Uh, passion. The any times to have refreshed. Oh. The anytime to have refresh, and he might do a crap job of it. He did an okay this job is, of it. This is beatable, though. Uh, okay. This is passion, physic, uh, physique. Yes. Physique. Okay. Uh, I, I will am do unnerving gaze again. <laughs> yeah, and sure. I'm, I'm going to dignified sidestep, okay. which, so 22. My Arabella will be okay. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck indeed. Fuck All right. indeed. <laughs> Alright, if Misform doesn't work one more time, I swear. Oh, don't don't worry, you're not getting hit. <laughs> oh, it's you don't not have me. to Misform. Oh, it's not me, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, it just... is the width of his token, correct? Yeah. It's okay, okay. sometimes with the, the transparency, I think worse. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> alright, so, Veg, you, uh, you fail to sidestep, which is just fantastic. Yeah. Alright, so, everyone... So, that's one more point. Yeah, and that'll be nine damage to everyone in the splash zone. <laughs> okay, that's survivable. Ow. Uh, um, so, even I'm though I... I'm shape, but... Uh, I did pass, do I, do I still take it to damage? Oh, yeah, no, you get damaged one way or the other. Uh, how much? <laughs> nine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what, yeah, are you, what are you sitting on, Will? Oh, uh, negative five. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and yeah, it's passion or be boys. staggered, you, you two jokers. <laughs> Oh, passion or be staggered. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. not staggered, stun. Staggered's the normal version. Okay, okay so... so rolling passion? Yes. Roll. 20 plus 2. Oh. All right, hey! you've been stunned. Veggie has not been stunned. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. So, uh, as, you know, shitty as this all is, uh, this thing is not looking super healthy, so... A decent push could be enough. Oh, sugar, I forgot. You can still contribute. Oh my god, you're in range to do so, too. One, oh my two, god! Three, four, NPC five. kill! NPC boss kill! Oh, no, 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 not not boss kill, but she might help. She doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, she can attack twice with her with her move action. Oh. Okay, that one does it. Yeah! Uh, as, as before, no one sees how good or bad sugar is doing. <laughs> Which helps her ego, but gives her no mechanical benefit. Dario! Oh, it's looking kind of bad, you say? Much to think about here. Alright. No, yeah, I, I don't- I can't afford that, especially when it still- uh, it's any time has refreshed at this point. I can't afford missing that ability. So, so I'm going to, let's do a Blood Bolt. That sounds fun. Yeah, Blood Bolt. You feel like overcharging your Blood Bolt? Yeah, I do. You feel like double overcharging your Blood Bolt? I think you do. Fuck it. Dude, yeah! you, your hand could explode. <laughs> it's going to be sick. It'll be so sick. It'll be so sick. Let's see how sick it is. That's fine. It's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, it's getting better. <laughs> it got a lot right, better. All right. Hey! All right, so... At least one of those is probably a lost cause to try and dodge, but it will still, it will still make, it will still make an effort. All right, so it is going to get tagged by one of your blood bolts. The third one, so this was necessary. <laughs> so that was necessary. Uh, all right, so it will it will take... How much does blood bolt do? Uh, blood bolt does five damage. Cool. It will take five, and it will desperately scramble away, crashing through more bookshelves, swallowing more books whole. Oh, God. It's fine. It's just chill now. <laughs> Wait, it's what? It's chill. It, it, it ain't a children's book. It ain't a. It ain't a pile of children's books. It's not. It doesn't want to fight anymore. Fucking get him! <laughs> <laughs> it looks at you with big, beaming, beautiful eyes. How bad is it looking? Oh, terrible. Oh, wait, is my knife in it still? Uh, yeah. A choice pops up on your screen. <laughs> Hugo just walks up and he pets it very kindly. It is adorable. It is nice. It seems kind. Hugo is going to remove the knife and then drive it back in as hard as he fucking can. <laughs> Roll for it, buddy. I'm dead. Betrayal. <laughs> it feels Betrayal. so betrayed. It's gonna try and dodge. <laughs> Bring up the combat initiative. <laughs> it's going to eat more bugs. <laughs> the fight's back on. <laughs> <laughs> Did I heal? <laughs> no. Combat ended though! <laughs> Dario, uh, you've never seen a grander display of fumbled diplomacy in your life. I cannot believe this. 
Another mess I must clean up, as always. He's the most egotistical he's feeling ever right now. All right. Uh, you, that's right, you got to act before. It's actually Kabidi who gets to try and kill this thing. All right. <laughs> Meyer no, he doesn't. My turn gone he's into ash. Oh, that's right, you were stunned. And Hugo, you already tried, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can try again. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck it. I am getting the fuck back up there. Okay, so do I, can I grab my knife and attack and like, can I stab it? Can I grab it from him? And uh, stab again. So you you pulled your knife out already. You just uh, okay. you just you missed, missed before. So uh, okay. The grander issue is getting up that bookshelf, my friend. Uh, I'm gonna need an exertion shit. from you. Uh, okay. Yep. That's fine. It, come on. It, it, there we go. So twelve. Oh, is it uh, Oh wait. Oh, I have to roll for it. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I did that we wrong. We roll dice here, Veg. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, God. Sorry. So that way you had me play Disco Elysium so I could get familiar with dice. <laughs> no, I had you play Disco Elysium because it rocks. Fantastic. This bookshelf is insurmountable. You'll need to find a different path. One, <laughs> two, three, four. You just shove past Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo is fucking pissed. Okay, now let's try it. Oh, Come on! oh my <laughs> god, are you kidding me? Very, very cool. Uh, it's going to, uh, <laughs> great. Uh, it's going to make use of its daring buff to use any of its abilities as an anytime. It's going oh my to god. choose. <laughs> it's going to choose to use its pulp breath as an anytime. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> Oh, goodness. You should actually be at plus four. You've eaten so many books. Oh, my God. Oh! Uh, <laughs> it's, hey! a, it's a bit shit, though. It's a bit shit, though. Okay. Okay. You, uh, you literally can't fuck this up unless you fuck it up. <laughs> okay. Sugar is going to spend what little stamina she has left, because she's at, like, fucking zero, by the way. I feel ya. Uh, she's going to use her anytime ability, predictable, to try and parry it. Oh, <laughs> she reached oh, for her God. knife and was like, it's going to go for an attack, and Hugo shoved past her and blew her off. I, I, I love this comment from Sprite in chat. I'll kill them with my pulp breath. <laughs> I did think about giving them ice breath for exactly that, but um, no, no. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll try a dignified sidestep. Um, sidestep where? In what direction? Sidestep where? You're in an alley. <laughs> Fuck. 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 Hold on. <laughs> Unless you plan on pulling out one book, shrinking and taking its place, I don't think it's gonna work. Um, no, Hugo's just gonna stare. He's just gonna stare and let it happen. Fantastic. <laughs> Sugar is knocked unconscious and you'll take nine damage. Roll patch in. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> I couldn't do that 17 before. <laughs> but you can handle it. <laughs> you believe in yourself. <laughs> it's just gonna try and bite you. Oh god, Fuck. it still goes. <laughs> <laughs> There's still nowhere to sidestep. Uh, you can tr I mean, now that Sugar- <laughs> Now that Sugar's <laughs> unconscious, there's a bit more her. wiggle room. Yeah, I guess- I guess I'll- I'll try and, uh, sidestep backwards. Uh. Yeah. Oh. You oh, tripped oh, over her. <laughs> You begin to sidestep and trip backwards. You're like, all right, I can handle this. Oh. Oh. Where'd he go? Did he just get eaten? Did he just get eaten? Did you eat the butler? Mirabella's unconscious. Sugar's unconscious. I should say, Mirabella is like laying on the ground like a dead family guy character. Yeah. 
<laughs> Time to do this myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, should we fight Wallace first or the mid boss? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Dude, we got fucked up. <laughs> can I can I do can I make a roll that just hop on top of the bookshelf? Uh, I know rolls are scary right now, but I'm a god. So Right, you are a god right now. Uh yeah, exertion. Climb up on top of the bookshelf. Exertion, huh? Okay. God, I'm so scared. Hey, that's, oh, hey, yeah, that's hey, a real yeah. number, yeah. You climb atop the bookshelf, powerful, Do strong. Dozens have tried, all have <laughs> failed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then that was just my first move action. Uh, my second move action, I'm going to step forward and stab it. Right. Oh, 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 it's a number! Uh, an easy stab. Literally easy. And then, yeah, I'm going to use my actual action to stab it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> not that time. In a sad state of affairs, he does not have enough stamina to use his dodge ability, <laughs> so he has to die <laughs> <laughs> It is not a failed roll, and I don't lose confidence. <laughs> this motherfucker collapses like a tree before poofing into mana and just half-digested paper. Uh, wh 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 Hugo? Where's Hugo? <laughs> <laughs> and Hugo, Hugo appears on top of the bookshelf. He did it! He got it! Oh, he fell off. He did it! He's on top! <laughs> you... <laughs> Everybody pulls their collective <laughs> sorry asses off the floor. Where Bella <laughs> slowly sits up. <coughs> oh, Kabidi. Kabidi sees you and and immediately uh like like you open your eyes and Kabidi stops almost eating you. Oh, you came to pick me up. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a good boy. <laughs> Uh, am I back at full health? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, everyone's gonna take a breather to recover from that shit. Hugo is. Uh, sorry. No, you just. Says, I suddenly feel amazing. <laughs> uh, no, Hugo, you still feel like shit. <laughs> Hugo is laying this way and just staring up into Dario's eyes, and he just slowly closes his. And he takes a deep breath, and he opens them again. I apologize, my lord. That was not the greatest decision I have ever made. A tactical error, and thanks to your power, we were all saved. This is why you will one day be the lord of the house. I don't want you to forget that. Wallace spin kicks of you in the head. Of course I can't forget that. <laughs> Fucking Wallace! <laughs> Oh, Wallace thinks he's going to step up to my in the ego? No way. I am king of the top of the bookshelves. Yeah, no, you can get a parting shot on him after, after he dunked on your sad butler. Is there any way while falling I can throw a knife? <coughs> no. No. Okay, that's fine. Understandable. You goes had a very bad oh, shit. day. <laughs> it was close, but you did successfully get your tap. Because I'm so confident. You're so confident. He gives you the double middle fingers while phasing through the floor. Oh, how mature! <laughs> yeah, because this is really out of character for him. <laughs> Hugo sits back up <laughs> one more time. <laughs> He hops down gracefully beside you. He's doing fantastic right now. Hugo tries so hard to give a weak smile, 
The makeup is cracked. His hair is no longer immaculate. He is covered in book sludge. He just kind of looks around the library, remembers that there are other staff members. Yes, yes, and... we will have this all done in a jiffy, and I am such a graceful host. I will let you take a few moments to get yourself composed. Hugo just keeps standing there until he's gone. <laughs> Walks off with the most swagger on earth. <laughs> Hugo the just, best day ever for him. He just collapses against a bookshelf and starts reconsidering his career for just a moment. Just the shortest of moments. He whispers to himself, You have a mission. You are going to do this. And he takes out one of his little scented candles <laughs> and he lights it up. And burns the because library. Toke it up. <laughs> yeah. He, <clears throat> he fucking his tokes, bong. <laughs> he tokes it. <laughs> Deep breath. Takes out his little makeup kit. Checks checks for inaccuracies. There are plenty. <laughs> there are plenty. He smudges it the best he fucking can. And he goes back to join the group. Oh, man. Ah. Uh. Is everybody okay? I'm fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> you go in his super steps on the rake. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh no. That means he's vulnerable. Get him. <laughs> I fire a blood bolt and kill my butler instantly. Oh my god, here you go. <laughs> he just jumps kind over. Of, <laughs> he's now holding the rake. Hands the rake instead of a hand to help get picked up. She just like rests your head in her lap. Say something, Hugo. <laughs> stable employment. Stable employment. Stable employment. Do I and still get my up. promotion? <laughs> there are many things under review. I highly doubt you will miss your promotion after this. <gasps> Thank you. Takes the That's rake. <laughs> that said, taking any amount of stock of this room, the overwhelming majority of books have been annihilated by massive breath attacks. Oh, God. And or laser beams. Uh, the only solace that Hugo takes is that the master does not leave his room very often, and he's pretty sure that he's too full of himself to read. Oh, yeah, no, uh, fucking Lord Desmodius, he doesn't even use this library. This is for guests. <laughs> Yeah. We still do need to fix it, but he's that not going to be... notice the books that are gone. Dario's not going to notice the books that are gone. Worst case scenario, Meyer, uh, how good are you with paper mache? Uh, I'm pretty good, yeah. We can fake some books if required to fill in those that were lost. Oh. No one's going to actually read them. They were all for show anyways. I mean, as long as we've got hardcovers, we can just kind of, you know, fill them where we need to. That's not a horrible oh. idea. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, quite, though we do have a trifling little ghost to deal with first. Otherwise, he will simply take the paper mache and throw it across the room. Hey! This place looks like shit. Please tell me you have good news on this evening. I have great news. Morning. She she hands you a potion. So it's not going to banish him. It's just going to kill him excruciatingly. Is that okay? Wonderful! Oh, I, I have never heard greater news Hold on, what, in I, my what? life. Are we, are we <laughs> cool with this? <laughs> we not be cool? I, 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 turn, I turn back to Meyer. He does not fall under HR jurisdiction. We are very, very fine with this. I, uh, hmm. I feel like HR is supposed to, well, I guess it does focus more on employees. I, uh, this feels, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> this falls under inhuman resources, which is us. So, he's a ghost, which was a human, but not right now. I'm just she pouring knows. these books like they're avocados at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh-huh. Hugo would normally be mad, but his own fuck up is still racking his brain right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that did cause an extra breath attack or two. <laughs> uh, I mean, if there's, I feel like we should try to talk to him to just leave the premises. And if he is still rude, I guess we'll just banish him to hell forever. <laughs> oh, he already had a chance to live, and then he got a second one and mucked it up. I, I see gave, no problems in murdering him. We gave him two rooms, and I, I like rip the potion. <laughs> I rip the potion away, shove it in my pocket. <laughs> Sugar was about to gently take the potion, but you have just yanked it. <laughs> You I, pull I, rank I, on her. I, I, I nod over at Sugar, realizing that I have been, uh, um, my anger is getting the better of me. I apologize, Sugar, that this is another HR violation. We will speak about this. It's, it's all right. I'm more than fine leaving most of this off the record, to be honest. I didn't ask that as a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I still have that potion. Sugar poofs. <laughs> Sugar head explodes. <laughs> Let me try that again. Are you okay accepting my apology that I have just made an infraction against human resources? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a question to me. <laughs> uh, Sugar, are you okay? I, I, I didn't see a lot because uh, something happened and then I was out. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. It's a shame that all this got destroyed, though. Well, we'll just what? fix it up. Just <laughs> eat new book tacos. There, there's there's a look and there's a look in Hugo's eyes. He looks over at Meyer and remembers once when he was that hopeful. Yeah, you just see her very like happily humming to herself as she's just brooming up the books. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you guys have fun with that. Ta-ta, thank you. Ta-ta, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Ah, toodles. <laughs> Crystal's very nice. Sugar nods. So Sugar she, nods. she gave you an eternal damnation potion, yeah? <laughs> yes, she did. That was um, very nice of her. It was extremely. It's also expected under house rules as that is part of a job and jurisdiction. Hmm. However, very kind that she returned us to uh, returned it to us in such a timely manner, as we only had to deal with one combat encounter that we barely survived by the skin of our teeth and the grace of our, are you eating books, Kibbity? <laughs> no, he's picking them up. Thank you so much. Wow. He he just puts one under he, he puts one under his cloak, and you can hear a mouth gnawing away at something. Hugo, Hugo, unfazed. <laughs> reaches into the cloak, oh, eyes, eyes decision. locked with Tibbity, and tries to find the book. I feel like this goes against you IR. <laughs> yes. you, feel, you feel the gnashing of teeth and tongues. <laughs> he keeps reaching for the book. You do eventually get the book shell. <laughs> Sugar, Sugar reaches into her pocket and pulls out a and pulls out a watch. Checks the time. Shakes it a bit. Oh, uh, when? <laughs> we should probably deal with Wallace before he pulls another shenanigan. again. Fantastic idea. Thank you. Uh, and he places uh, the very moist. He's about to put the moist book on the shelf. He just kind of puts it on the floor so it can dry out. Pages open, of course. What page is it's just the shell? <laughs> It'll do. Oh, there's no pages. It's just like the, the hardcover shell of this book. See, this oh. is what I'm talking about. This is perfect. Thank you so much, Kibiti. <laughs> it's just the, the fucking, you just get like the, the literal, just the hardcover parts of the book. No pages. <laughs> Hugo's going to pretend that he saw pages. He is going to live in ignorant bliss. <laughs> he will live in the world where this book has pages in it. <laughs> and and maybe is is this where we we find out what happens next time? Do you think? Oh or? no, we can we can wrap this real quick. Oh. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cliffhanger you shoving a potion of instant death down Wallace's throat. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Before we enter, I'm going to look around. 
Who feels the most confident about using this potion? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, the tentacle reaches out from underneath the cloak. Um, like, feed me. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't had, like, an argument or any, like, full-on aggression with him. Like, he hasn't kicked me in the head or anything. Maybe I could just talk to him. No. You deserve better than that. Aww. He hands the potion over to Dario. <laughs> Wonderful, perfect. Wallace! <laughs> Bust down the door. <laughs> well, welcome, you son of a bitch. Do you like my redecorating? Ah, ah I see it has your usual flair. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Swords carelessly put on the ground. Yo, check that over there! The <laughs> Sorry, I fucked up! <laughs> your, uh, your daddy's paintings make an excellent target board. Uh oh. <laughs> I want to smash the bottle over the top of his head. I'll go for it. Please, God. He's like walking up, like, okay. like, okay. like, oh. ha, 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 we have just shared a great joke. Suddenly, with superhuman vampire speed, <laughs> he does recognize you're going for a play, but assumes this one won't kill him like the previous ones did. Yeah, he thinks it's gonna be like a slap, like he did the last time. He is gonna try and get a parting shot off, though. This uh, sick fuck bastard! Off. Are you All right, kidding Hugo, me? Hugo, Hugo, Hugo is gonna use life to uh, live to serve again. It's, it's okay. No, it's oh. all right. It's all right. Oh. You, <laughs> you smash the bottle over his head, ensuring an instantaneous and horrifically painful death for 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 Wallace. But he fired a spectral sword and fucking annihilated your code. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Asshole! The last laugh always belongs to Wallace! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> well, I'm just- Is he in another plane where I can hunt him down? <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'll have R&D look into that for you. You have done a fantastic job today. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Unfortunately, there is still much work to do. Maple story jams. Yeah, Sugar oh, yeah. shoots uh, shoots a double thumbs up. Satisfied, all things considered, with how this went. She uh, she approaches you, Hugo, hoping for a question. How are you doing, Sugar? Uh, I'm fine. I don't need that kind of question. When? There's something you would like to state, Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can start making headway on cleaning up any of the any of the more mundane messes here. Though I think I think we will need the bulk of our staff to get any real progress done. Yes, we will uh, take care of this unionization issue uh, as soon as we can. <laughs> If, if we can take care of that as quickly as we took care of this, and if my sister does an adequate job at her, hers, we should be in the clear. Wonderful. Yes, wonderful. Sugar, uh, sugar looks to you, Hugo. I, I look back with a knowing glance of like, this could have gone better. It could have gone worse. I'm so sorry we both chose this method of employment. <laughs> <laughs> she she nods. Her eyes speak to you. They say don't run yourself ragged. And His she takes look back out a... and says too late. <laughs> <laughs> she takes out a dustpan and begins cleaning up the bottles. <laughs> and we'll find out what happens next time on Blood, Sweat, and Fear. Ooh. Ooh. Now, uh, thank you so much. This has been a blast. Very yeah, excited to, to pop back into this. We do have a little bit of fan art. Ah, uh, wowie zowie. I'll, wow. I'll, I'll link it here in that them there, roll 20, and start just getting sure. things ready. Uh, yeah. This Imgur 
is brought to us by Bread Bunny. Thank you very, very much for this. This helps us. Hold on, before, oh. before we go through it, just real quick. <laughs> hey, we have a Patreon. Consider supporting us there ah. if you haven't already. Funds, uh, funds from the Patreon funded uh, all of the artwork in this game, so yeah. your money is going towards a good cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, also, you should consider joining our Discord if you haven't already. It's our community hub. It's where we post the weekly schedule, and it's where we receive fan art, like uh, like the fan art that we are going to look through now. So this is from Bread Bunny, you said? Yeah, the Imgur is courtesy of Bread Bunny, so thank you very much for that. Uh, and we we begin with Bread Bunny <laughs> for a bit <laughs> that was before stream. So when this gets chopped down, people go, what the fuck are they talking about? Oh my god, it is little German boy! <laughs> <laughs> Except it's played on horns. <laughs> thank you so much, Bread Bunny. Thank you so much. Uh, from Froon, surprise round RPG pre-stream starter pack. Yeah, talking about all the <laughs> dumbest shit in the world. Gabriel Pickard. Uh, I feel like we've definitely talked about consoles. I know we 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 like, went this, this is uh, this is a referencing uh, blowing out your subwoofers playing stream on PS5. Oh, got it. Yeah, and then of course <laughs> and the spell magic. magic and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's all here, baby. Outstanding. Thank you so much. Uh, from six, <laughs> you, <for> <laughs> you should kill yourself now. now. <laughs> Call out post incoming. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's what you can learn about my improv skills just like you have a character who can only say a small amount what's she gonna say <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much from goblin pink tired overworked but well-groomed men <laughs> hmm. Hmm. oh he decided to paint on a mustache on his face today good on him good for him, <laughs> good for him. i don't know yeah. who you are but nice stash <laughs> Thank you, it's fake. Mm. <laughs> Just like my smile. <laughs> I gave up a long, know. long time ago. <laughs> they uh, not. Thank, thank you, Goblin. Thank From you. Bread Bunny. Oh, no. <laughs> Hugo, why does father call you baby girl? How about we stop talking for a while? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Outstanding. Thank you so much. From Tokyo. <laughs> oh, call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. But not for me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. And then from Kuroyuki. My chatter now I claim it. Metal men cannot stop me. This is no, true. They cannot. <laughs> Outstanding. We do have exactly one more. It's from a, a brand new person. Uh, ah. It comes from uh, Duxedo. Uh, I think it's Duxedo. Dux Dux oh, that makes so much more sense. It is absolutely Duxedo. Uh, uh, here, I could also link it in. Um, yeah, please just do. So it's not missing stream. I'll put it in our little personal chat uh, from Duxedo. Why do we have hands? There are many reasons. Pat the Meyerbella, hold the Meyerbella, cherish the Marabella, forfeit all mortal possessions to Meyerbella. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's about the size of it. <laughs> I, I didn't really have much of a plan for her going in, but I was like, I think I'll just make her very pleasant and a little dumb. You know, the yeah. tried and true. <laughs> yeah, no, nice and stupid. <laughs> I think it's what we need here. It's what we it, need. It's it what is we what we need here. Uh, thank you. Thank you all so much for playing. I hope you had a good time. Oh, that was yeah, a blast. I thank did. you so much. That was, that, was, yeah. that was fantastic. I'm, I'm very yeah, excited to I'll, pop back into this. Yeah, I'll try and get another going as soon as I can. Uh, admittedly, it's probably going to be a bit into November. Got to gotta get the whole process oh, yeah. started again. You know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. But we'll see it when uh, we'll see it when we see it. Yeah, yeah I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And chat, thank you so much for being here. Supporting yeah. the stream however you do it, be it by giving us money or giving us fan art or just giving us support. However it is you do it, it means the absolute world to us. Thank you so much for being here this time, and thank you for being here next time. Say goodbye to chat, everybody. Yeah. Toodles. Toodles. Oh. Oh.